and we are live welcome ladies and gentlemen to savin's world my name is savin and i want to thank each and every one of you for joining me on this fine friday evening or afternoon or morning i guess it all depends on where you are in the world anyway thank you very very much for joining me today it is going to be an excellent excellent day Oh, I'm so excited. I love Fridays, guys. What can I say? <laughs> it's my favorite night of the week. Oh, cool. Um, so I've got a lot of stuff to cover here before we get going. Now, we are going to be continuing the No Loot Challenge. Uh, that is going to be continuing where we left off last week. So that is uh, going to happen. We are going to do that. Um but before we jump into that, I've got a lot of major announcements to make. I've got, oh man, so much stuff to cover uh, before, before we get going here and get too far into it. Uh, the first thing I have to mention, the big elephant in the room, I guess, <laughs> or it's a big elephant to me at least, um, Zavin's World has officially hit 10,000 subscribers. We hit the 10K mark, guys. Congratulations to everyone. I mean, thank you very much to everyone. And, and thank you for uh, all the, the messages and everything that I've received from, from people saying congratulations. Uh, awesome. So, so awesome, guys. So awesome. Um, and I will have a major announcement regarding our 10k celebration stream a little bit later on in the stream so uh stick stay tuned for that i have a major announcement coming for that but i wanted to start off by saying a huge thank you to everybody who has uh who, who has helped savin's world get to this point the the uh, support has been overwhelming and uh, it's just an awesome milestone and it's made even ex even more special like extra extra special uh because of the timing uh so for those of you guys who don't know, today is my late father's birthday. Um, so it, it's been a, been a tougher day, but um, just the fact that we hit 10,000 subscribers, we literally hit it the day before his birthday. And that is really, really special to me. Uh, he was my biggest supporter and um, yeah, it was, uh, it was amazing. So yeah. Um, Awesome. I'm, I'm just glad that I'm able to spend uh, his birthday here with all of you fine folks. I wish he were here, you know, to spend it with us, but you know, he's uh, hope he's, uh, he's in a better place now and you know, I will love him forever. So I uh, love you pops and uh, we're going to continue on and do the best that we can. So uh, before I keep going here, let me just jump in chat here. Dale, welcome to the stream. Thank you very much for joining DGAF Dreadhood 99. Thank you very much for joining. Rattlebrain Ed, good to see you. Thank you for joining. Rosie L, thank you for joining the stream. Crab Clown Jimmy, good to see you. Thank you very much for joining. Uh, Siangua 96, I hope I said your name right. Welcome to the stream. Thank you very much for joining. And Kelly, welcome to the stream. Thank you guys. Thank you all very, very much for joining me this evening. So, so yes, guys, we have hit officially hit 10,000 subscribers. Huge milestone. I'm, I am stoked. I'm really excited. The growth of the channel has been outstanding. Um, and thank you, everyone, for, uh, for all the support. Thank you for hitting that subscribe button. Thank you for watching the videos. Uh, just thank you. <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you. RH, welcome to the stream. Thank you very, very much for joining. Uh, Grimiax, welcome to the stream. Natalia, welcome to the stream. And Just a Gamer 333 hello and welcome to the stream. Thank you very much for joining, guys. So the next thing I wanted to, to um, the next announcement is the, you actually see it kind of crawling along the bottom of the screen there. Um, just so you guys are aware the Savins World Merch Shop, they are holding a free shipping weekend this weekend. So if you haven't yet, check out the Savins World Merch Shop. We've got a whole bunch of awesome uh, designs on there. Get yourself your uh, Zombie Jerks t-shirt or hat or whatever you want. And if you order it this weekend, guys, you can get free standard shipping. So you'll save a lot of money doing that. So um, if, you, uh, if you can, check it out. The uh, It's... Um, it's shop.spreadshirt.com slash Savin's World. Check it out. Order yourself some awesome merch. Help support the channel. And uh, yeah, not don't have to pay shipping this weekend. So 
Uh, good, good stuff all around. Uh, I'm going to leave that up there, the ticker up there for a while. So, so uh, people who join in, they will see that that special is going this weekend. Uh, just so everybody uh, uh, knows that is aware that that is going on right now. So um, head on over there, check out what we've got to offer and uh, grab yourself something awesome. So free shipping all weekend long. All right. And the, I think this is the last Nope, nope, nope. Two more, two more announcements, guys. And then I promise we'll get we're gonna get into the actual uh, seven days no loot challenge. We're gonna get back to it, um, and we're also going to be we're also gonna be uh, doing our monthly Q and A. So um, as I play the no loot challenge, I'm also gonna be answering questions and all that fun stuff. So yes, awesome. Uh, let's see here. Sir Brainsaw, welcome to the stream. Thank you very much for joining. Uh, next up on the list of announcements, guys, uh, the Seven Days to Die Tournament of Champions, the first round starts Monday. So the first video in the, like the official video in the Tournament of Champions will happen Monday at my regular scheduled uh, posting time, 1 p.m. Eastern. Uh, let's see, that's uh, 10 o'clock Pacific, I think. I don't know. <laughs> I'm so bad with time zones, guys. It's not even funny. So the, the tournament officially starts on Monday. Seven Days to Die Tournament of Champions. The um, On Wednesday, I released the introduction. I introduced the, the brackets, the competitors, the, the tournament format, all that fun stuff. So um, check that video out if you haven't yet. But the official tournament starts on Monday. Oh, and I lied. There are there are there were three more announcements, so I have two left to go. I think. Gosh, so much stuff, guys. So much stuff. <laughs> uh, the next announcement it, uh, has to do with the dev stream. So I I made a, a I made a video saying uh, it's, um, about the dev, the possibility of the the dev stream coming back. Then I made a video when it was confirmed, and I stated in that video that I'm going to be doing a recap video for the streams. Uh, and since we have the TOC running, my videos are pretty much pretty well scheduled out for the next month, which means my normal published days of Monday and Wednesday for videos, I'm going to have to make a separate release in order to release that recap video because I'm a man of my word. I'm going to do a recap video. So Saturdays at, at 1 p.m. Eastern, I'm going to be releasing an additional video while the uh, the TOC is going on to recap the Alpha 20 dev streams. Uh, so for for the, the dev, dev stream started this week. And guys, if you missed it, oh, you missed a lot of awesome information. I'm not going to go into it um, too much in, in this stream. You're going to have to, I'll go into it more in depth uh, with tomorrow's video. So tomorrow I will be releasing my recap video for the dev, the dev stream. So uh, man, my word, I'm going to keep that going, even though it's going to be, I mean, an extra video per week, but uh, that's what we got to do in order to get this going. So um, be on the lookout for that. Tomorrow, 1 p.m. is when that video should uh, should go live. So um, yeah, just because the way that the TOC, the way we have that scheduled to, to be released, my Monday and Wednesday are already booked up. Friday is all, I've al already got a date with you guys on Friday nights and I can't, you know, I'm not going to, I'm not going to skip that date. It's my favorite day of the week. So uh, I figured Saturday is a good day to release the update video. So for those of you who did not, were not able to catch the dev stream live, I will recap some of the major points uh, on that video tomorrow. And then from here on forward, until the dev stream stop uh, every Saturday, I'll be doing a recap video for the, uh, for the stream. So there we go. All right. Um, and the last bit of news, uh, I forget. Oh, yes, 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 yes. Um, yeah, I agree, sir, Brain, uh, brain, uh, brain saw It was an absolutely awesome, awesome stream. Um, but it is the beginning of a brand new month. So, well, it's not the beginning of a brand new month, but every month we do our Q&A sessions. And during that stream, I also make a, a special video, give a special shout out to the members of Savin's Court. These are the YouTube channel members and the Patreon members at the night tier and above. So I'm going to go ahead and play that video here now for, for you folks uh, and give a, a huge thank you to, to those, uh, to the members of Savin's Court. And then I think, guys, we can get back to the No Loot Challenge. So let me play this and I will be right back.
the start of a brand new month and i wanted to take this opportunity to say thank you to the members of savin's court these individuals have gone above and beyond the call of duty by becoming either youtube channel members or patreon members at the night tier and above so let's start out on the night tier as i say thank you to the knights of savin's court Next up, let's take a look at the Baron slash Baroness tier, and a huge thank you goes out to the Barons and Baronesses of Savin's Court. Next, let's take a look at the Count slash Countess tier, and a huge thank you goes out to the Counts and Countesses of Savin's Court. And finally, let's take a look at the Duke slash Duchess tier. And a huge thank you goes out to Duke Rassilon25. Thank you very, very much, Duke of Savin's Court. Now, if you would like to see your name on this wall, all you have to do is become a member of Savin's Court at the Knight tier and above by clicking that YouTube join button or becoming a Patreon member by clicking the link in the description of this video. Once again, a huge thank you goes out to the members of Savin's Court. You all rock. But now, let's get back to it. Alright, there we go, ladies and gentlemen. So thank you again. Thank you very, very much to every one of the members of Savin's Court. You guys are awesome. It's a great way to directly support the channel. And if you're interested, Click that YouTube join button or click the pay the link in the description to the Patreon. Take a look at the tiers. You can get yourself some pretty cool perks and uh, help support the, the channel directly. So, uh, again, thank you very, very much to all of the members of Savin's Court. You guys rock. And speaking of the members of Savin's Court, one of the benefits of being a member is that you get your question answered first at the monthly Q&As, which we are doing today. So uh, we're going to start that off with the questions from the uh, the members here. I'm going to go ahead and get on here. There we go. All right. And we are going to be answering the questions from Savin's Court first. Uh, if you guys have any questions that you would like to ask, you can. Uh, I will let you know when to put them into chat. I'll be answering questions throughout this entire stream. So you'll have uh, plenty of opportunities to get your, your question answered. And uh, yeah, uh, but we'll, we're going to start with the uh, members' questions first, and then we will move on to chat questions. And of course, if you uh, send in a super chat, your question will be moved to the top of the list. So let's do this thing uh, real quick. Donald, welcome to the stream. Thank you very much for joining. And BB, thank you very much for joining. Welcome to the stream. All right, guys. So before I jump into the questions, we are back in our no loot challenge. It's day four. We've got a good amount of food on us. I think we just, did we just uh, pick up another quest? I'm not uh, not 100% sure. No, we did not. So um, let's go back in. I forget. I honestly forget what we were doing. Um, but let's grab a, cha uh, a quest here. Very supplies. There we go. We can go. We can go do a job uh, while we answer some questions here. So there we go. Boom, boom. Let's see here. Samantha, welcome to the stream. Thank you very much for joining. And William, thank you very much for joining the stream. All right, guys. So the first question on our list is: Do you have a particular attribute you focus on when creating a character, or do you, or do you try to spread your points out? And that's a very good question. So my, when I do my 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 uh, points, my attributes that I focus on, it all comes down to character build. Um, whatever build, like whatever style I'm trying to play for that run, that will determine what what attribute I focus on. So for like, for instance, for this run. It's the no loot challenge. We cannot loot any loot containers at all, which means we have to rely on, on crafting. We have to rely on, where are you? There she is. We have to rely on uh, stuff from the trader. So we cannot loot any of the goodies. Uh, we have to 
buy we have to um uh buy them and uh, from the from the trader so um yeah so it all depends on my play style how i'm fa i'm fa the challenge i'm facing uh will depend on the the uh points that that are how i spend my points so um if i'm doing all right hold on marlene no stop it i'm chatting with the people at home you're being rude bad zombie all right um oh here real quick let me say Jamie, welcome to Savin's Court. Thank you very much for uh, becoming a member. And Donald, welcome to Savin's Court. Thank you as well for becoming a member. Uh, if you guys haven't yet, make sure and join the Discord server. You will find the link to the dis an invite link to the Discord server in the description of this video. Um, join that server and uh, make sure and DM either myself or Mage Josh or Riot. They are the, uh, they, we are the ones who can assign you your, your role. Uh, and I, un unfortunately, of course, I can't do it while I'm streaming, but uh, after the stream, I'll get you added in and all that fun stuff. So make sure and head over to the discord um, and, and uh, get signed, get signed up there and, and uh, introduce yourself and all that fun stuff. So, all right, let's get to digging this here. And then also real quick. Donald, thank you very, very much for that super chat. That is awesome. I really, really do appreciate it. You rock. All right. Oh, darn it. Clicking on wrong boxes here. There we go. And this one there. And this one there. There we go. <laughs> All right. So I'm digging out a hole. All right. There we go. Okay. So let's move on to the next question. And I will, uh, I will, I will read while I dig. This is this is like multitasking galore, man. I love it. <laughs> I'm terrible at multitasking, guys. <laughs> um, all right, next question. I know your specialty is in tutorials, but would you con consider any long-term series in seven days with any role-playing elements? Um, that's a very good question, and. I, I think down the road, absolutely, absolutely, I would consider doing a uh, a, a like full playthrough with with more role playing elements. Absolutely, um, the the way YouTube works, you kind of got to stick to your your uh, stick to what you're good at or stick stick to what you're known for. Um, but I do think there will be it'll come a time where we'll all have more flexibility on on how I approach the videos I the different videos I do. So yes, absolutely. I would love to do a um, seven day series with more more of a role play feel to it. That would be awesome. Um, I'm a huge nerd, guys. Huge nerd. Just in case you didn't know. <laughs> and uh, when I was growing up, role playing games were like my jam. You know, <laughs> we, I used to love 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 role playing games. Um, still do. I still do. So. Um, yeah, absolutely. Answer to the question is yes. Um, and then there's a follow-up. If you did consider it, are there any members of the community or other content creators you'd want to do such a run with? You know, I'm I'm always down for collaboration, so I'm um, not opposed to it. Uh, as you as you guys know, the Tournament of Champions is um, <laughs> is quite a large. Uh, collaboration involving several several uh creators so um yeah i i love working with other people it's been it's been a fun experience it's been a learning experience for sure but um yeah i would i would absolutely love to be able to work with other other people as well um yeah hands down absolutely now is there anybody in sp like specific that i would like to work with um you know i'm I, I don't know. I, there's nobody that, that I, you know, would, would be on my like must work with list. <laughs> um, I'm pretty easy going. So, you know, as long as they're cool, they're not jerks. That's my, that's like main, my main, uh, you know, priority is, it's just making sure they're not, uh, they're not jerks. So uh, yeah, there's nobody specific that I, that I, you know, in like dying to work with, but there's a lot of people that I would love to work with. Absolutely. And I must say that the people involved in the uh, in the TOC, ah, there it is, guys. There it is. All right. Before we do that, let's uh, let's drink up a little bit here. 
There we go. Drink, drink, drink. All right. Let's get this going. Let's uh, let's repair our club. There we go. And remember, we cannot take any of this. We can only take the supplies and cry that at the uh, at the rest of it. <laughs> oh boy. All right. All right, let me slay some zombie jerks and then we'll get back to the questions here, guys. Ron, go away. Whoa. He's sneaking up on me. That's ah, Marlene. I knew it. There we go. I knew there was somebody trying to sneak up on me. Hey, Marlene, how are you? Boom. Down you go. And boom, you did. All right. Oh, real quick. BB, welcome. Uh, thank you very much for be uh, becoming a member. Thank you very much for joining, becoming a YouTube uh, YouTube channel member. That is awesome. Um, I don't remember. I don't know if you renewed your membership or if this is a new one. I thought you were already a member, but I could be mistaken. I could be mistaken. Um, if you are new, make sure and head over to the discord server, uh, join that. And, uh, um, you'll find, you'll, once we get your, your role assigned, you will be able to access the, um, Savin's world servers, the seven days to die servers are, as well. So thank you very, 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 very much for becoming a member. Um, you guys are all awesome. <laughs> Thank you so much, guys. All right. So we have our quest done. Let's, let's start making our way back. As we make our way back, I'm going to keep going with the questions. Uh, the next... Um, who's screaming? You know what? I don't care. It's a crawler. I can hear him. I can hear the crawler screaming. Uh, screw you, crawler. I got stuff to do. All right, so we're going to continue with our members' questions. The next one on the list, it says, um, would you do a maxed-out playthrough, like all attributes and all per perks, etc., et et red? Um, that might be interesting. I, I don't know if that would make for a very exciting series, just because, I mean, half of the fun is killing the jerks and 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 gaining the levels and and all that fun stuff. So, um, yeah, I'm not sure if I would do a series like that because half of the like that half the battle is gaining the levels and and progressing through the game. And if you're already maxed out and have everything maxed out, um, yeah. Oh, BB upgraded tonight. Got it. Yeah, I, th I thought you were. I thought you were a member already. But thank you very much, BB, for upgrading tonight. That is awesome. And you will uh, definitely see your your name on the uh, thank you, in the thank you video uh, that I make for next month. So awesome. Thank you very much. Um, but getting back to the question, yeah, I I, I probably wouldn't do a series like that. I, I just don't think it would. Um, it wouldn't be as exciting as starting from nothing and building yourself up. I I think I prefer I think I prefer that uh, style than than um, than anything else. I think that's more fun, more engaging. Um, yeah, so I guess that would be my my answer to that question. All right, next up is what attributes uh, would you think is best of all time? Very good question. Very good question. So I ah boy. Okay, let's take a look at skills. Oh, I've got two points available. <laughs> My answer to this question is strength. I think the strength tree currently in Alpha 19 is the most, the best overall attribute tree. You have offensive skills. Uh, you also have the sexy Rex. You have Master Chef to cook uh, cook meals, and then you have the mining skills. Now, me, I'm a, I'm a builder. I like to build. Having those mining skills is is going to be uh, going to be huge. There is an argument to be made about intellect however because intellect uh, has the uh, the robotics inventor perks are extremely op especially late game the the uh the better barter and daring adventurer perks they are going to be very come in very handy in this playthrough and then uh, advanced engineering as well there are some very good perks in intellect but if i had to pick one attribute that i think is the best overall i would have to go with strength you've got the uh shotgun you've got the club uh, or the, the uh, sledgehammer, if you prefer sledgehammer. You've got sexy Rex for stamina um, stamina drain. Uh, then you've got your mining perks as well. So I would have to pick strength. Definitely. All right. 
All right. Next question. Oh, I kind of already answered this question, but I'll answer it again. When is the first video coming for the TOC? The Tournament of Champions, the first official run video, will be released on Monday at 1 p.m. Eastern Time. 1 p.m. So, yes. I'm, I'm so excited, guys. I've worked really hard on these videos, and so has everyone else involved. I mean, the, like I said, it, it's not just um, – I mean, there's a lot of people putting in a lot of effort. Uh, not only the competitors involved, but there's also people behind the scenes that have been helping me out, and um, I will be giving them a special shout-out um, in due course. You know, as soon as the videos start dropping, um, there's some people that I, I really want to, to give some love to, show some appreciation – get their name out there because they are awesome and they've really been helping me out quite a lot. So the fish, the official first run video will be Monday at 1 PM Eastern time. It's going to be awesome guys. All right. Next up, any word on alpha 20 release date? Um, nothing official, like no set date has been announced yet, but, um, yeah, no set date has been announced as of yet, but they kind of they're kind of sticking to the hopefully before Christmas uh, thing. They kind of teased that maybe experimental might be out uh, around Halloween ish. Um, so I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. Uh, I I'm not gonna hold my breath on that, uh, but we'll see. We'll see. Um, yeah, but no, nothing official yet. Uh, again, guys, I'm going to be releasing my Alpha 20 dev stream video tomorrow. So that will have a little bit of uh, information that they released. Uh, I'm not going to go into everything. It was a two hour and 15 minute stream. So I just kind of picked out some of the key things that I think were kind of like wowed, wowed me. Um, and then some of the stuff they're going to cover in, in, in future streams. So I held off on covering uh, everything, just kind of cherry pick some kind of oh my god moments <laughs> um all right is there any new alpha 20 items that have you drooling um it must be my lucky day oh Thank we are you. taking the ammo Here baby you know. we don't have a gun yet but um ammo 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 absolutely give me that ammo all right, let's grab another job, guys. All right, we've got another buried supplies. Might as well. They're quick and harmless, oh, and they're close by. I will make it work. And we will start heading that way, and then I will answer the question about Alpha 20 items. So it depends on what you mean by items. Uh, are you, if you mean like like new weapons or clothing or or like in-game items you can you can use. Um, I, I think the pipe weapons are going to be cool, and I think the vehicle mods are going to be really cool. So the uh, the vehicle mods and the the new pipe weapons I think are going to be awesome. Uh, if you're if you're talking like new features for Alpha Twenty, I think, boy, um, random gen I think is going to be insane. Uh, from the dev stream on Wednesday, the things they showed. The announcements they made uh, uh, regarding random gen and and POI generation and that kind of thing, wow! That section absolutely blew me away. Um, I cover that in the video tomorrow. They, they I won't you know spoil it. There they did uh, they did make some pretty crazy announcements uh, about um, about Alpha Twenty, and I, I think that is probably the thing that I'm I'm most excited about now. Is is the random gen and the and the and the POIs uh, coming in Alpha Twenty? So yes, absolutely. All right, uh, next question: How would you color your kit differently when playing PvP versus PVE in each of the various biomes? Um, so, oh wow! <laughs> ah, suck it, Bo. <laughs> um. This is a difficult question for me because I am not much of a PvP guy. Um, I I just don't play PvP very often. I don't find it as fun as PvE. It's just not. I, it just it's not really my. It's not really my thing. However, if I did play, decide to play a, a PvP um, world. I would probably 
have to use dyes. I would try to use dyes to match my clothing to the environment. So, um, in like in the forest, obviously I'm using a lot of, uh, a lot of the green dye or maybe the brown dye. Um, and in the, in the desert, I would, I would probably, oh, my shovel's broken here. Let's give that a repair. Uh, in the desert, I would probably use, uh, the, the, the brown dyes as well. Um, just to try to try to blend into the environment as much as I possibly could. Uh, but yeah, PVP guys, it, it's just not my thing. It, it never has been my thing. Um, I'm just not much of a PV, PVP uh, kind of player. So um, yeah, that's a, that's a tough question for me. And uh, honestly, I, 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 if, I, I will, I always say that um, I'm probably not the guy you want to go to. Uh, when looking for advice on PVP. So, um, yeah, uh, uh, I would, I would probably recommend uh, checking out some, some other PVP channels. Um, they could probably, they'd probably do a better job of not steering you wrong. <laughs> Where if I were to give PVP advice, um, I, there's a good chance that I may steer you wrong. And I, I do not want to steer you guys wrong. I always try to be as accurate as I can when I make my videos. Um, I, admit my mistakes when i make them which i do because i'm human uh but yeah when it comes to pvp not really my my go-to i'm not really uh um the, the man that you really want to ask about about when it comes to pvp so yeah uh i i think uh, i'll i'll leave it there hopefully that um i mean I didn't really answer your question but um <laughs> I'm, I'm honestly not uh, not going to be the best one to do it to, to answer that question for you so all right. Uh, next question is, oh, this is a this is a nice one. Thank you for uh, the person who sent this one in. Very sweet, very simple, straight to the point. He says, "How's your day, Savin? Um, my day is is going pretty good. You know, it's been a busy week. It's been a busy month. I've been busy, um, but today has been has been great. Um, hitting that 10k mark was was what is was incredible." Um, it has, uh, if I'm being honest, it's, it's a little bit of a harder day. Cause like I said, you know, it is, um, my late father's birthday and he was such an important uh, part of my life and, uh, not being able to celebrate all of the achievements, uh, of the channel with him, not having him around here anymore, not being able to take him out to dinner for his birthday. Um, that's been a little bit of a struggle, but, uh, all things considered, I cannot complain, um, Life is good, man. Life is good. <laughs> All right. And then our last question, member question, is uh, in a randomized world, what would you deem to be the best starter home for a player or a group? Um, well, that's a very good question. And in fact, it was such a good question that I actually released a video on this subject not too long ago. It's part of my of the beginner's playlist. I have a beginner's guide playlist that, that contains a whole bunch of uh, information for brand new players. And I would highly recommend checking that out, checking that, that video out. Um, it's, it's, I think it is called how to pick a, a starter POI. Uh, but generally speaking, a couple of things you want to be concerned with. Uh, you don't want to big uh, pick anything too terribly big. You want to be able to clear it uh, before you, um, talking here and make sure I'm going the right way. Yeah, I'm going the right, right way. Uh, yeah, nothing too, too big. You want to make sure that it is made out of uh, some solid materials. You don't, don't, you know, try not to pick any wood houses or anything like that. You can, you can find some higher, higher quality, uh, POIs out there. So, um, yeah, I would do that. Be very careful when picking POIs that have fences, make sure that the fences are flush that they do not have any, um, I'll get, I'll, once we get this quest done here, I'll go, I'll see if I can find you a, um, an example here of what not to pick. Um, uh, but yeah, generally speaking, you want something at least two stories that way you can, uh, there it is. All right. Nice. All right. Let's, uh, get our club out. Let's wait until our stamina gets back up. That's probably good. And we will grab the supplies only and leave all the rest of the goodies behind. Bummer. Bummer. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Come on. Come on, guys. All right. 
I think one of them spawned in the backyard there. <laughs> Down you go. Oh, where'd you come from, lady? Darn it, Lois. All right, let's make sure there's nobody else behind us. <laughs> Ron, be a jerk. Lois, that was not nice. Hitting me in the back of the head. Darlene. Now there's a mo over there. All right, I think we're good. I think she's the last. Oh, come on. Total swing and a miss. Is there somebody? In, yeah, I think somebody did spawn in the backyard. Yeah, look at Marlene in there. <laughs> so, like, take this fence here, guys. This is actually a good fence. See how it's flush? You don't want something that, that has, um, uh, like, is that one over there? Let's go see if we can find a not, yeah, yes, this one here. So you see this fence here, guys? You see how it has the, uh, the, the half blocks and the full blocks here? Like that? Avoid fences like this because when wandering when uh, wandering hordes spawn into the world, if they spawn in and reach this fence like this and they get stuck on something like this, they'll actually start beating on your walls. So be very very careful with with stuff like that. That's uh, but that that fence over there, that's a good one. Mo, no, bad mo. Bad Mo. There we go. All right. Mo's down. All right. There we go. Okay. I think that is all of the questions from the um, the members. All right. Cool. There we go. So we're going to continue going down here, guys. So now, guys, if you have a question that you would like uh, like for me to answer, go ahead and post that in chat. And I will answer it to the best of my ability. You can ask me anything you want. And uh, I will answer uh, the best I can. But again, I always re reserve the right to refuse to answer if uh, the question is a jerk question. So <laughs> don't be a jerk, but uh, ask away, guys. Ask away. And meanwhile, we will uh, make our way back to the trader. Turn this in. Four o'clock in the afternoon. So we've got plenty of time left in the day. I think what we're going to have to do, let's see, today's day five, so we've got a couple of days until Horde Night. We need, we have some points that we need to spend, and we actually might um, level up again once we turn this quest in. So we'll see. We're also checking to see what other quests he has available. Let's see if he maybe he has, uh, he has something else that we can run and do real quick. Because uh, the name of the game, is, is, since we can't loot, the name of the game is quest as much as possible quest 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 hey buddy leave bob alone Woo. There he's down. all right let's head on inside turn this in and uh and see what we can do here all right um See if I can throw some of these up here. Uh, under player, oh, on Reen, under player, I'm just gonna call you underplay, uh, underplay. <laughs> underplay asks, uh, why is cooking not under intelligence? Very good question. <laughs> uh, I don't know. Um, I don't know why they put it under strength, uh, but th that's not going to last for long. They are going to be doing a, a revamp of the uh, skills here. I think in Alpha 21, they're going to be changing things up a little bit. So um, good question. I honestly don't know. Uh, all right. Uh, let's see. Tomahawk says, joined a bit late, but what do you think about new POIs? What tier of quests are you most excited about? See, this is one of the things, guys, that I am uh, had me, like, actually blew my mind. When they gave the number of POIs that are going to be in Alpha 20, oh, oh my God. That's something I'm going to talk about in the, in the video tomorrow for sure. Uh, absolutely incredible. Incredible. Uh, the amount of new POIs we have coming um in alpha 20 for sure uh what tier of quests are you most excited about uh i'm just i'm excited that that, that they are opening up the quests a bit they're opening up they're 
we're adding the restore power quests. We have the, the tier three buried supply quests. We also have the ability to take lower tier quests from the traders. Um, so yeah, I'm, I'm really, really stoked about uh, the new questing and that kind of thing in, uh, in alpha 20. So yeah. Oh man, guys, we've got so much awesome stuff coming in alpha 20. It is, it is, uh, yeah, it's going to be crazy. <laughs> it's going to be crazy. I cannot wait. Oh, I love it. Uh, next up, let's see. Hello, Dara says, is the tech tree changing? Not in alpha 20, I don't believe, but it is, uh, I do believe they will be tweaking it a bit down the road. All right, let's turn in this quest. It must be my lucky day. We're going ammo again. We are going ammo again. Give me the ammo. And let's see. Do you have any? All right. There's a clear jo zombies uh, less than 500 away. Hero. Okay. Cool, 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 cool. Ooh. And we are very close to another level up, guys. Very close to another level up. All right. Um, let's, while we go here. Uh, let's see here. Tommy Lee Jones says, have you ever played Seven Days to Die on Nightmare Difficulty with zombies always running or faster during the day? feel like the walking zombies are way too easy. I have played on Nightmare Difficulty. Uh, I've, 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 I have many, many times. Uh, it's not my not my preferred way to play. I actually, I like to bump up the difficulty a little bit for the zombies, but I don't like bumping them the difficulty all the way up to max. Uh, to me, it, it, basically, it feels like turning the zombies into bullet sponges, and I don't find that fun. Uh, so for me, bait, uh, for me, uh, the nightmare uh, difficulties uh, just isn't really my thing. I like warrior. I think warrior difficulty is the one that I, I normally play on uh, for personal play. Um, anything higher than that. And yeah, it pretty much just turns the zombies into, into bullet sponges in my opinion. So um, yeah, not really my, not really my cup of tea uh, playing with those, um, those settings. But again, uh, that's just my opinion. That's just how I like to play. I always say people should play the game the way that they want to play the game. So if you find Nightmare Difficulty exciting and fun, then uh, I say more power to you. Go for it and uh, slay as many of them tough as I'm a jerk as you can. Erlene, how are you? That's what I thought. <laughs> All right. Otto, welcome to the stream. Uh, and he asks, uh, what are your thoughts on Mischief Maker and, and Twitch MM on at the same time streaming? I, you know, I've, I've seen Mischief Maker and I've seen the new Twitch integration uh, played, but I've never done it myself because I'm not much of a Twitch guy. Um, yeah, Twitch, uh, I'm, I, do, I do have a Twitch um, account. I do have a Twitch channel. But I don't really stream to that much anymore. Uh, I'm not a big fan of of uh, of, of streaming uh, the, of the platform itself. Um, so hopefully that'll change in the future, and um, I can get back to streaming to Twitch. But yeah, I have seen the the, the mischief make maker and that kind of stuff. I've just never personally had any uh, experience with it. I've never actually uh, streamed with an honor or anything like that. So yeah. Um, but it looks cool. It looks really cool. All right. Um, okay. I'm going to play this game. I'm so addicted. I work. Greatest game ever. I'm going to throw you up here. Thank you very much. I completely agree. Seven Days to Die is absolutely amazing. I love it. I love this game. And what we're seeing coming out of Alpha 20 looks like it's going to be even better. So, oh, yes. I am uh, really, really glad that your son got you into, into playing this game. <laughs> that is awesome. <laughs> All right, guys. Um, if you have any more questions, guys, get them down into chat. I will answer them to the best of my ability. But in the meantime, we are going to clear this POI. Uh, it's We've got a little bit of time before night. And even, you know, I'm not scared of you know, running zombie jerks. Um, no sense in double looting up, double clearing the POI because we can't loot anything. So, uh, yeah, it kind of takes takes the whole purpose of double looting out of it if you can't loot in the first place. <laughs> so we're just going to go through here and uh, slay some jerks. 
and get this get this done, and hopefully we can make it back to the trader before he closes. Hello, come on out, jerks. Bo, I see ya. I guess I could be doing trying to do some stealth stuff. Bo's a, sl a strong sleeper, apparently. <laughs> oh, ah! Oh. <laughs> well, she went flying. <laughs> hey, there's the level up, guys. Level up, level up, level up. Yeah, come on. Get up. Hey, Tom. How you doing, bud? So we now have three points to spend. I think we were going into strength. We're good on intelligence right now. Uh, strength is going to be our next go. All right. I have lots of Toms. There's no, no burnt zombie in here. There's usually burnt zombies. Oh, well. Tom, how you doing? All right. Down he goes. Let's continue on. Burnt zombie definitely in here. Yeah, there he is. Hey, buddy. Come on down. Come on down so I can smack you in the face. Oh, yeah. All right. Up to the roof. And... There it is. I knew there was a bird. It's usually a bird. Let's see if we can snipe him. There we go. And the final group in here. I could, if we could loot, I'd go up and get the snoo the the uh, sneaky loot, but uh, we can't. So, bummer. Hey, Ron, how you doing, buddy? Not quite dead. Now he's dead. Jeff Ray? No. Bad. There we go. All right. Done and done. Normally we'd grab the end loot, but uh, yeah, no looting. <laughs> oh, man. It pains me every single time, guys, that I cannot loot. Oh, I have to leave all of that good stuff behind. All right. Uh, let's keep on rolling here. Um. If I had to pick a zombie to go on vacation with, uh, that would be Buzz. I would pick. I would pick Buzz. He's my favorite. Uh, that's the uh, the biker. Uh, if you guys are familiar with the commercials, Buzz is just a really cool dude. Plus, he knows how to make booze. So, um, yeah, I think he'd be a lot of fun to go on vacation with. <laughs> uh, all right. Um, Let's see. Tommy Lee Jones says, do you want enemy bandits to fight and kill? Maybe like Raider Bases 2. Feel like it would make the game feel more alive. Absolutely, yes. And they are actually, bandits are coming in Alpha 21. That was another thing they talked about at the, at the dev stream on Wednesday. So, yes, I think bandits would be really, really cool. And I cannot wait for them to make their appearance next Alpha. All right. Uh, is... All right, next one from uh, Mr. Kinklads. Is there a way of setting the controller sensitivity? I have to change it uh, each time I open 7 Days to Die as it goes back to the default. Um, I think, like, more usually, if you go into options and controls, uh, the gamepad here, I think... You shouldn't have to reset this every single time. Now, it depends. Are you starting a new playthrough? Because every every playthrough has its own settings. So this will work with with um, with your current game. But you might have to change it for, for uh, if you like start a new game or switch to a, a new game. So, um, yeah, uh, I think that's all that's all I've ever had to do. I've never heard. I mean, once once I ha once you have it set, it, it, it usually stays for the uh, for the for that playthrough. Um, but you know what? I honestly, I don't mess around with the settings too much. So I could be wrong. You, um, I've never had to go back in and, and, and that, um, uh, you know, switch it all up again, but I don't know, but that's how you do change them. You just go into your settings and, and switch them out like that. Um, the alpha is out. Uh, Kachoro, not quite yet. Uh, they, they were looking probably, probably before quest, um, before Christmas, and as early as maybe Halloween. So, yes. All right. 
Quite new to the game. Uh, let me get this one up here. Wondering if you need to start a new world when Alpha 20 comes out, or can you continue your worlds from Alpha 19? You're more than likely going to have to start a new game and start a new world. So, uh, yeah, that's usually how it goes with every major update. Um, the, the, the worlds do not cross over, so you can't play Alpha 19 worlds in Alpha 20. Um, you know, and so on and so forth. So more than likely you are going to have to start a new world. Uh, Otto says, uh, booze. Oh, you've got plus one faction with Otto. <laughs> awesome. <laughs> All right. Yeah. I'm not, I'm not a, I'm not a huge drinker. I don't, I honestly don't drink very much, but you know, if I were on vacation, I'd probably throw a couple back. <laughs> Uh, Tommy asks, do you think ar armor and weapons you craft should always have better stats than ones you find? I feel like the game should, ins uh, should incent I'm guessing you mean incentivize uh, crafting more rather than just finding everything. Um, I, I think there are, there are pros and cons to both. Um, I, once they put in like legendary items or stuff, you know, then it would make more sense. So, um, I, I'm kind of of two minds on this. I do believe they should make crafting more appealing. Absolutely, I, I agree there. How they do that is going to be difficult because, from a straight like realism standpoint, um, you know what? Let's turn this in and get home before uh, Traveler. Ooh, Urban Traveler. Combat Four. Yes, we are taking that book. We are taking that. And Bob, I will see you in the morning, man. Have a great night. All right, let me get home, and then I will I will continue answering. Actually, I'll answer that. Continue answering that question on the way home. So let's get home. Let's get back to our wait. That's the way to our base. Our base is right over there. <laughs> I just forgot to pick up our bedroll from the the last place we were at. <laughs> so let's uh, let's get up up here in in our little uh, little tower base here. Oop, open up. I'm hungry. I think we have some meat that we can uh, cook up. If I remember right. Oh, wait, no. Darn it. I need to go back down. All of our stuff is down here. Yeah, there's our campfire. Cool. All right, let's just throw some stuff back, y'all. thought I had meat. Don't we have meat? What happened to the meat? Did I cook all the meat already? I may have cooked all the meat, guys. We might be, uh, well, we've got a little bit of food on us. We're all right. All right, let's read this so I don't forget. All right, we're up to three grand in Dukes. Not bad. All right, good. All right, I'm going to head up. I'm going to crouch down. And then I will get back to answering that question. Okay, so uh, the question was about crafting... Um, crafting and 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 making it uh, making it better i agree that crafting needs to be they need to in incentivize crafting it's uh it, it's it's a lot better now just finding gear and loot you, you get better gear higher quality higher stats uh it, looting than you do crafting um i think that that crafting should be very variab variable um Oh, I have more ammo on me. I don't need to keep the ammo on me. There we go. Get that out of here. There's that. That'll work. That'll work. So yeah, I, I do I do agree they should incentivize crafting a little bit more. Um, but how they do that is tricky. Is tricky. So yeah. Um, all right. Trader Joel's is now closed. All right. Otto asks, uh, do you think the fun pimps messed up with the new drone not being able to mount weapons? Um, no, I don't think so. Um, I, I think I'm, I'm wait, I'm a wait and see. I'm taking a wait and see, um, approach to most of the things coming in alpha 20. There's, I guarantee there's going to be stuff that I love. I guarantee there's going to be stuff that I don't love. Uh, but having a drone, a drone, follow you around uh, and be kind of a, a pack mule for you, give you extra storage space, I think is cool. Having the ability to repair items and to heal you, I think is cool. So I, I think the drone is 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 going to be better than, than people think. 
unless they are expecting it to be a tank. Because I, I don't want something doing the zombie killing for me, you know. Um, if you, if you want to go that route, just build yourself a bunch of traps. Um, it kind of take, takes the fun out of looting a POI if, uh, if you have the, the uh, drone do all the work for you. So, uh, but that's just me. I mean, I, I can see why people, um, I've actually released videos about uh, uh, not having to, uh, uh, you know, do, do as little as possible <laughs> while you're playing the game. So I can see the appeal there, but I don't think, I don't think there's anything uh, wrong with, with not being able to uh, load weapons onto your drone. I, I think it, it'll work pretty cool as a, as a, um, as a pack mule, like I said. Um, so yeah, I mean, it, it kind of, it is kind of a bummer that they had to go that route, but from what it sounds like it was weaponizing the drone was turning out to be a major, major headache. So I'd rather have a drone that can't be weaponized than not have a drone at all. So that if, if those were my two choices, I would, uh, I'd rather have it um, as a pack mule than not have it at all. Uh, let's see the man spark. Welcome to the stream. Thank you very much. New to the channel. Well, thank you very much for joining. Um, Mr. Kinklad says I should do a vegan challenge. No meat canned or fresh or eggs. Ooh, that would be tough. I would, uh, definitely have to hope that I could come across some, some vegetables, the vegetable stew recipe. <laughs> uh, <laughs> all right. Um, Tommy asks, do you think it would be cool to have an op option in world settings for zombies to crawl through one block spaces? That is actually coming in Alpha 21. Um, they are going to make it so zombies can can uh, fit through one block spaces. So um, whether or not it's going to be optional, I don't know. I don't think so. So, yeah, uh, I... I I do think it is. It's gonna. It's gonna change things a lot. It'll. Um. A lot of the base designs are gonna have to change. Um. <coughs> excuse me. It'll. It'll definitely change the way people approach the game and play the game. And I think it'd be cool. Um. I'm not as concerned about what they do with the with the zombies. Uh. You know. I. I honestly think they should focus on other things more than they focus on that. Uh, every time they try to adjust the pathing and AI of the zombies uh, to make players play a certain way, it ends up backfiring and, and players find, you know, workarounds for every change that they make. So I wish they would focus their time and energy on doing other things instead of that. But, um, you know, I think it could be cool. I think it could be cool. Uh, Edward, welcome to the stream. Thank you very much for joining. Had some homework to finish up. Well, I'm glad you were able to finish that up and uh, and uh, in time to join us. Uh, that is awesome. Uh, but school comes first. Always comes first. You got to get that learning in. <laughs> um, and Otto asks another question here. Oop, let's get that up. Uh, do you think that tech fits into the lore and timeline of the game? It seems like it's learning... It's leaning, excuse me, to the Fallout universe. Um, I think, I think. So we haven't we haven't really got too much in in regards of a storyline. Um, we, we've got some information on on a backstory about the, the Seven Days to Die world. It, it, it is set, you know kind of in in the right area i don't think there's anything in seven days right now that i would consider out of place or too crazy advanced um that it, that it doesn't seem to fit nothing nothing that i can think of really jumps out at me that says you know this item wouldn't really doesn't really make sense doesn't really isn't really possible um, whereas the Fallout universe, uh, there are several things that um, that that would not make sense in in a Seven Days to Die style world, the time time period. But Fallout is set in the future, so of course you would have more futuristic stuff. So uh, that I think I think from from a timeline standpoint, it, it makes sense. Um, yeah, Sledge uh, Robo turrets. 
I, I don't think there's anything with today's technology. I think those those weapons are somebody could easily put together a, a robotic turret um, and a, a sledge. All you need is a, a sensor, uh, like like the actual tur turrets and stuff have. So, um, yeah, I think in today's with today's technology, if if somebody wanted to, they could easily make a a um, a, a turret uh, like that. So um, yeah, I don't I don't think there's anything too far fetched that that's too far out of the realm of possibility. Um, I wouldn't go as far as to say it's 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 leaning towards the Fallout universe, because the Fallout universe is much much more advanced, which it should be because again it's set in the future. So, uh, Evan, welcome to the stream. Thank you very much for joining. Um, the dude asks, and the dude, welcome to the stream, asks how much of Darkness Falls will be added to Alpha 20. Um, I'm not sure what you mean by that. Uh, Darkness Falls is an overhaul mod for Seven Days to Die. So, yeah. Um, yeah, I, I, don't, I, I don't know what you mean by how much of Darkness Falls is going to be added to Alpha 20. I do know that Kane is more than likely going to be revamping Darkness Falls to fit Alpha 20 once Alpha 20 is, is ooh, excuse me, once Alpha 20 is released. Um, but yeah, there, um, not, I don't think there's anything from D Darkness Falls that's going directly into Alpha 20. So, yeah. Yeah. Um, uh, da, 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 da. Uh, Otto says he's an electrician. It would cause me a few weeks of figuring out. All right. Cool, cool, cool. Uh, tech is difficult now. It would be impossible post-apocalypse. Yeah, see, I, I, don't, I don't think it, it, it's... Is it that difficult now? I mean, in the real world today, um, would it be that difficult to to create an, a turret of some kind? I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong. I could be. I could be wrong, guys. Uh, you know, I, like I say, I'm not opposed to uh, to admitting when I'm wrong. I don't know. I think it'd be totally doable. I don't think it'd be very practical uh, in in you know modern warfare. Uh, it'd be very very difficult for um, like differentiating, I guess, between friend, friend and foe. So I guess that that's one aspect where it might be difficult. I, I don't know. I don't know. Maybe I'm wrong. Yeah. Maybe it would be, the turrets would be, uh, uh, harder to do than, uh, um, with current technology than, than I'm, than I'm leading, uh, or that I'm thinking it, it's possible. I don't know. I'm not as big up on tech and modern day tech as, as maybe uh, I should be, but yeah. Realistically, do certain words says realistically doable but incredibly dangerous. Okay, yeah. See that I, that that was my thought too. I mean, in the post-apocalyptic world, you're one of the last survivors, you know, so you don't have to worry about hurting anybody else. Generally speaking, I mean, especially. If you think about it, in this world, the, the amount of, of living human beings that you have to worry about is going to be very, very small. So you wouldn't have to worry as much um, about the danger factor. So I don't know. Yeah, uh, living in the UK would be e it would be easy to build a sledge turret. Uh, it would easy to build a sled turret than getting hold of a gun. <laughs> yeah, uh, I live here in the states and. Uh, uh, we are, we are known for our firearms. So, <laughs> uh, all right. Um, let's see, Jonathan, welcome to the stream. Sorry. I didn't see a sneak in there. 1.5 K different blocks, blocks hype. Absolutely. Oh yeah, guys. If you haven't watched the dev stream yet, uh, that's something I didn't cover because they're going to be covering that uh, more in depth in a future stream. But my video tomorrow, I, I do cover, I will cover um, a lot of the topics. But uh, yeah, that's one I didn't cover uh, extensive. I didn't cover it at all because it's going to be covered in a future one. But they did announce that, yes, there's going to be a lot, um, a lot, a lot, a lot of, of uh, different block types. Uh, Shannon, welcome to the stream. Uh, did you miss the finale to the no trader challenge? Will that be continued? Um, no. So I switched over to the no loot challenge because the no trader challenge, I found that I 
it, it did not allow me the time that I have. Um, it didn't allow me the ability to interact with chat the way I liked because it was random horde nights. And because it, the days were so short, I had to focus so much on the game that I couldn't do, you know, what I love to do during the streams, uh, which is interact with the chat. So I switched over to the no loot challenge, but just, just so I had more time to interact with, with the chat. Um, I'm not opposed to bringing back the, the no, the no trader challenge. Uh, that would, that, that would be fun, but I'm, I'm, I switched over to the no loot challenge just so I had more time to, uh, to interact with, with the chat is like, again, guys, that's, that's my favorite part about the, the streams is actually hanging out with all of you and, uh, yeah, all that fun stuff. So, um, you did not. There wasn't a, any official finale to the uh, No Trader Challenge, and we could definitely bring that back in the future for sure. And Stan, welcome to the stream. Thank you very much for joining. First live stream. Well, I'm glad you were able to join us today. We are uh, in the middle of uh, just answering the some questions, doing a the live Q and A that we do every month. And I am waiting until morning to get back out there. Um, it's day five. We've only got a couple of days until Horde Night. Oh, you know what? We've got our points to spend. We've got three points. Let's go into Strength again. So we're going to go one more point into Strength. That'll get us another tier into uh, Sexy Rex. And then we're going to start going into... Um, yeah, we're going to go Minor 69er. And then while that's going, do we have the stuff on us we need? I don't. Let's see if we have it in the uh, in the chest here. Let's see if we have it in storage. Yeah, we do. Okay. All right. We can craft ourselves some new tools. So let's get ourselves a new um, stone axe and a new shovel. There we go. Oh, and we also, I think, did we break, did we open up, um, did we open up, I forget, let's look, let's look, let's look. No, I didn't. Oh, crap. That was a mistake. That's right. I was going to do, um, I was going to do two points, the next two points into advanced engineering to open up the workbench and cement mixer. And the forge, because we're going to need that. Ah! Darn it. Okay, that was a mistake, guys. My bad. <laughs> that was a mistake. All right. Well, live and learn. What can you do? <laughs> uh, spent the last two weeks watching most of my tutorials. Oh, that's awesome. Hopefully you found them uh, helpful and or enjoyable. But uh, thank you very much for that. I really appreciate it. Um. Let's see here. And then uh, E Chaos or e, e Chaos or Chaos. Not sure how to how to say your name exactly, but um throw your question up here. Will there be more block shapes and will the devs make them easier to manipulate? Make it make make it easier to manipulate their orientation, I think is what he's uh, trying to ask. Uh, yes, they. there are a lot of block shapes, almost 1,200 block shapes, and the, they are completely changing the shape menu and all of that fun stuff. So the answer to that question is absolutely yes. All right. Uh, Jamie asks, what is the one thing you are looking forward to most from Alpha 20? Mine is the drones. Uh, the drones, I absolutely, I'm looking forward to the drones for sure. The thing I'm looking forward to the most, or the thing that has the, me the most excited, is probably chaos. E chaos. Okay, gotcha. Thank you, chaos. <laughs> Thanks for clarifying. Um, the thing that has me most excited, or uh, the thing that, that kind of really got me hyped while watching that dev stream, is the uh, random world gen coupled with the new POIs. I think that combination is going to increase the replayability of seven days to die. It's going to like the, the replayability is going to go through the roof. You, you, I, there are so many permutations on, uh, on new worlds and new cities that it's going to be different every single time. And the random gen, um, every, all the work they've done into random gen, it, it's just, 
it's absolutely incredible, guys. Absolutely incredible. Um, I, whew, my hat's off to the fun pimps. This, yes, yes, this, this alpha has taken a while for them to get done. But if you watch that dev stream and if you if you watch all of the information that they're putting out, you will see why it has taken uh, as long as it has. Because the amount of content, the amount of, of stuff coming in this update is incredible. It is an incredible amount of content that, that, that we have coming our way, guys. I mean, it is insane. So um, it makes sense. And like I always say, I want the fun pimps to take as much time as they need to get it right. Uh, to get, I want Alpha 20 to be as good as it possibly can be. Um, and if, if that means they need to take a, a little bit more time to get things polished and get things working right, uh, then so be it. I'm willing to give them a break. Uh, I would much rather have a, a playable, awesome version of Seven Days to Die than a buggy, glitchy mess that constantly crashes, constantly causes problems that they have to go back and fix. Uh, so I say take the time you need, get it right. And with all the information that they are releasing, I understand why this alpha has taken them a lot longer than some of the other ones. And I am extremely excited to see uh, what it has, in, what they have in store for us. Because, oh man, guys, <laughs> oh man, it is just, oh, it is looking so darn good. <laughs> it's so, looking so darn good. <laughs> um, all right, let's keep on rolling. Oh, there's the morning bell. So I spent all night just up here, uh, up here on my little little fort, uh, yeah, yapping away. <laughs> That's how it goes. All right. Let's get down there, guys. Uh, we need to get out and about. We need to go hit up our vending machines. We need to get more food. All right. Go down the hole. There we go. All right. Close that up. I well, we really don't have to, but vending machines first. Let's go grab us some food, and uh, we will continue the journey. I think we're going to spend today questing. And then tomorrow, we will build ourselves our first little horde base. We'll decide on a design. I don't have anything really in mind. Um, we could do... I want to keep it pretty simple. I don't want to go too crazy. But, uh, yeah, I don't have any specific uh, design in mind for uh, for horde night. We don't have a weapon yet, guys. So we're going to have to rely on, on bows and arrows and clubs. Now, thankfully, it's only day seven. So the, the horde's not going to be too crazy, I hope. But, um, yeah, we'll see. We shall see. Sooner rather than later, we're going to have to start getting a, a garden going or something like that in order to uh, save ourselves some dukes. So, all right, what do we got? Give me some good stuff here. All right, we'll buy that. I'll buy the red tea. Let's go check the other one. And then we've also got the trader, which he doesn't open up for another hour. Oh, no food? Really? Well, that's all right. That's a bummer. No luck. That sucks. <laughs> what can you do? All right. Oh, let's keep on rolling here. Um, Jamie and I are sisters. We play co-op with our husbands and some friends. It would be nice to go in a POI where everyone does not automatically know where the main loot is. Absolutely. That is awesome that you play with such a such an awesome uh, group of people. Family that games together stays together. <laughs> or like the uh, like the t-shirt design that I made. The family that slays together stays together. <laughs> I also have one for couples too. So, <laughs> And Kelly, thank you very much for joining. I think I said hello to you before, but if I didn't, thank you very much for joining. All right. Uh, we should... BB says, we have been playing an open battlefield. As we progress, should we move to an inside base for Horde Knights? I would. Um, I, I would recommend. It all depends on your settings. Um, but as you, as, you, as you get a little further into the game. Oh, where am I going? Did I not mark the... Tra did I not, not mark the traitor? No, I didn't because he's right, right by my base. Oh, we must have had a, a wandering horde over here. 
Yeah. Boom. 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 Oh, I totally missed. Swing and a miss. <laughs> BB says we need that shirt. I love um if you see the the ticker on the bottom, if you go to uh shop.spreadshirt.com slash sevens world, uh you should be able to find the design there. And if you get it this weekend, uh, they're holding a, a free shipping special this weekend. So uh you, you can get that uh get the shirt with without having to pay the shipping cost, which is awesome. Just got home with food. Ooh. See, I, I wish you lived close to me. I'd ask you to, to, to come bring me something because I haven't eaten dinner yet. <laughs> I'm going to eat dinner once the, once the stream's yeah. over. <laughs> Actually, once the stream's over, I've got uh, I've got more editing work to do on, on the video for tomorrow. So, <laughs> And then uh, Streamlabs from time to time also drops the, the link to that, uh, that shop here um, as well there for you, BB, so you can, you can check that out and, uh, yeah, see what, see what you think. Uh, Western Body, welcome to the stream. Thank you very much for joining. Um, what time is it? 5.30 in the morning. Where am I going? Trying to find the trader. I think he's this way. Yeah, there he is. So we've got a little bit of time to kill. How are we looking on? How's our wood supply looking? Yeah, let's let's do uh let's do some chopping. Get some wood. All right. So BB and I have the settings on scavenger and four zombies at a time. And the blood moon birds are getting very interesting. What is something we can do for the inside base? Uh, we have already upgraded to steel. Uh, there's a lot of different options. I guess it would all depend on your, on your play style. Um, I would recommend... I have a, a playlist on Savin's World that has a, a list of... Um, uh, horde based designs and character builds. It's called the, the character builds and horde based design tutorial. So, um, yeah, check, check that out. There's a lot of different things in there. A lot of different videos, different ideas uh, <clears throat> for base designs and that kind of thing. All right. Um, with, let's see here. All right, Kelly asks, with Alpha 20 getting 200 or so POIs, do you know if they are getting rid of any of the current ones? I don't know if they are getting rid of any of the POIs, but they are going to be updating um, a lot of the older POIs. So, Trader's open. Bob, give us a job, man. We need to make that money. All right. First thing, let's check his vending machine. Ah, oh, there we go. Bob comes through. Uh, the soup and the stock, I'm not going to worry about. Not going to worry about. Those are not worth it. Five food for 40 dukes? Nah. Nah. No, thank you. All right, let's go in and let's take another job from Bob. Hey, Bob, how you doing, man? Good to see you. I want... All right, jobs. There we go. Um, all right, we've got some clears and a fetch close by. Uh, let's do the let's do them let's do the fetch you first. Let's quick. Me with a problem. I can't think. Thank you, you enough, Bob. Man. Here, I'll even close the door. That's how much I like you. <laughs> all right. What time we got? So we've been going for about an hour and twenty minutes. I think this is an excellent time to take a quick five minute break, get up, stretch, ugh, refill my beverage. I'm getting low on water, so ah, a refill is in order. Uh, so, uh, guys, I'm going to throw on the commercials. Oh, that's another thing. People were asking me about the commercials. Um, yes, the the answer to the question that people have been asking me, yes, absolutely, I do have commercials uh, planned for Alpha 20. Now, I am going to wait and see what all new POIs that they release, um, and maybe that will change my, you know, my, my, my approach, but I do have a plan to make, you know, put, make to get, make some brand new uh, commercials for seven days to dive. So, um, and once alpha 20 comes, yes, absolutely. I will be bringing back the commercials. Uh, so you won't be seeing the, uh, the, well, I mean, I mean, I might, I might still use the, the older ones from time to time, but hopefully we'll have a brand new crop of, of commercials 
uh, so you guys don't have to sit through the uh, the same same ones uh, over and over again. But <laughs> for now, we're gonna stick with the uh, with the commercials, uh, the, the Alpha 18 commercials I did, and I'm gonna go take a quick five minute break when I uh, and then we'll get back and we'll we'll continue going. I'll continue answering your questions. We'll continue slaying the zombie jerks. We will uh, keep going with the no loot challenge. Um, we should at least get through horde night uh, through at least one horde night tonight uh, as we are our days eh, it's gonna be close i don't know i don't know we'll see it's what six uh eh, hour and 20 we're two days away maybe we might we might get to a horde night tonight but uh that's um Let's, we'll just have to see how I feel because, <laughs> again, I do have um, some work to do that I have to do after the stream, but uh, I'm going to spend as much time with you guys as I can. So let me uh, take a quick five minute break here and we will get back to it. So hang tight, guys, and I will be right back. I'm a man. Notch up wood like a man. I break rocks like a man. I build shit like a man, and being such a man. All right. I have no idea what's going on here, guys, but for some reason, I don't know if it's happening to you guys, but uh, the video of the commercials is like really, really choppy. Uh, let me try that again. All right. I need some manly tools. There's only one place to go to get some manly man manly tools. Now I go to work in Stiff's Tools. They oh, have everything oh, a manly oh, man may need. Like this manly chainsaw. Or this manly auger. You call this an axe? Don't be a pussy. Get yourself a manly fire axe. Right here at Working Stiff's Tools, where men are men and in no way overcompensating for anything whatsoever. Be a man. Working Stiff Tools, located on the corner of... Don't be a pussy. Men don't need directions. I'm a man. Working Stiff's Tools. Find it and be a man. Hey there, folks. My name is Buzz, owner of Buzz's Bar, located in downtown Fairview. My grandpa always used to say, there's nothing better than passing around a jug of moonshine with your buddies after a hard day's work. So grab your buddies and come on down to Buzz's Bar, where we've been serving up our world-famous Grandpa's Moonshine since 1922. Pass that jug around and get yourselves shit-faced like it's your last night on Earth. Because let's face it, folks, it just may be Buzz's Bar, home of the world-famous Grandpa's Moonshine. Hey there, folks. My name's Buzz, owner of Buzz's Bar, proud purveyor of our world-famous Grandpa's line of fine spirits and adult beverages. My grandpa always used to say, everyone deserves to feel awesome. So he mixed up a special batch of moonshine, Grandpa's Awesome Sauce, guaranteed to make you feel awesome. Are you a skinny loser trying to look cool? What? You have so many rolls that you can't see your willy anymore when you look down. I can't see my willy, Carl. Me neither, Bob. Have the boys passed you around more than a jug of our world famous Grandpa's Moonshine? Yeah. It don't matter. Come on down to Buzz's Bar for some Grandpa's Awesome Sauce, because everyone deserves to feel awesome. I'm so awesome. I can see your willy, Carl. Hey, Buzz. Buzz's Bar, located in downtown Fairview. 
Come get shit-faced like it's your last night on Earth. Because let's face it, folks, it just may be. Hey there, folks. My name is Buzz, owner of Buzz's Bar, proud purveyor of our world-famous Grandpa's line of fine spirits and adult beverages. My grandpa always used to say, we all got shit we want to forget. So he mixed up a special batch of moonshine. Grandpa's forgetting elixir. Available exclusively at Buzz's Bar. Does it feel like life gives you nothing but cornmeal? Oh, fuck off, cornmeal. Will those stupid birds just not leave you alone? Stupid bird. Did you find your girlfriend being spit-roasted by a couple of cowboys? <gasps> Arlene! You've been cheating on me with some bearded Jeffrey! You've heard me for the last time, Arlene! That's it! You and I are done! There was two guys in there! She was getting spit-roasted while I was at home waiting for her! Then come on down to Buzz's Bar for some Grandpa's Forgetting Elixir. Cause we all got shit we wanna forget. Buzz's Bar, located in downtown Fairview. Come get shit-faced like it's your last night on Earth. Cause let's face it, folks, it just may be. Oh, hi, folks. My, my, my name is Jared, the owner of Poppin' Pills. And when you need... Ooh, squirrel! Uh, at... At Poppin' Pills, we, we provide only the best in pharmaceuticals. Guaranteed to cure. Well, that didn't work. <laughs> Sorry about that, guys. Um, <laughs> yeah, that was bad. <laughs> I just got back and uh, noticed that it was freezing. So, I have no idea what's going on. No idea. <laughs> Oh, you gotta love it. You gotta love it. Anyways, I'm back, guys. Sorry. Sorry, sorry that the commercials, uh, I don't know what was going on there. Uh, they didn't, they weren't playing right. Oh, I've been having so many issues, but what can you do? Um, yeah. Uh, let's see here. It sounded like Jewel. Yeah, there are, uh, uh, if, if you guys want to, the, the the actual full commercials are actually on the channel. I, I don't know why they're not working this time. They <laughs> usually work pretty well. So can you guys hear me okay? Uh, I mean, it's everything. I just want to make sure I'm coming through okay. Because uh, apparently the videos are, are, are uh, the videos are um, not going to be playing correctly. So, yeah, I don't know. I don't know what that was. <laughs> <laughs> oh, anyways, I'm back. Thank you guys for hanging tight. Thank you for very much for bearing with me during that um, break and during the fact, even though the, the commercials were not playing properly and they looked like crap. Um, but yeah, thank you very much for hanging out. <laughs> we're gonna get back to it, guys. Uh, no loot challenge. We just took a, took a quest. Yeah, okay, good. I, I, I'm glad that at least you guys can hear me okay. So apologies again for the for the video. I don't know what the heck that was. So yeah, it did not play properly, but what can you do? What can you do? All right, we got to get to it, guys. We need more experience. We've got to get those points. I want to get the, uh, we need two more points for intellect. We want to get advanced engineering. We want to get up to Tinkerer. That way we can at least start making, um, uh, the, the workbench and the cement mixer and the forge. And then we'll go from there. We'll go from there. All right. Cool, cool, cool. Okay. Oh, you got to love technology, guys. You got to love uh, streaming. That's the, that's the joys of, of streaming live. <laughs> things, uh, things don't always work out. Perfectly the way you want them to. <laughs> oh, I love it. I love it. But hey, we're back. We're going. We're just going to keep on rolling, doing the best that we can. So 
That's all that we uh, all that we can do. You know what? How much honey do I have? I've got three honey on me. I don't have to worry about it. Let's get over to that quest. This is a fetch, right? Yes. Yeah, so we don't have to clear the entire thing. Maybe we'll get lucky and the, the supplies will be relatively close to the entrance so we can get back. And uh, I, I'd love to get all three of those quests done. The, the, the fetch and the two clears. We can get those done before the end of the day. I will consider that a very good day indeed. All right. Uh, again, guys, we are doing the live Q&A. So if you have any questions you would like me to attempt to answer, pop those down into chat. Uh, if you send in a super chat by hitting that little dollar sign on the chat menu, uh, it will move your question to the front of the list and uh, guarantee that I will answer it. Ooh, this one has a dog. There's a doggy in this one. All right, we're going to have to get ready for Mr. Doggo. He might take a little bit of damage on this one. So, yes. Um, let's keep on going here. All right. Let's take care of this Doggo. Oh, also, guys, if you are enjoying the stream, make sure and hit that thumbs up button. Let YouTube know that you are enjoying the stream. But let's do this. Let's take care of that dog. It's going to be right in the beginning. Where are you, doggy? Where are you? Oh, is it no dog spawn this time? Huh, no dog spawned. All right, freaking out for nothing. <laughs> <laughs> oh, scrap that bad boy. All right. Well, let's keep on rolling. Unfortunately, it is not on the ground floor. So we're actually going to have to kill some of the zombie jerks. Um, and we said that picking stuff up was not looting, correct? So I'm going to pick that up. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Marlene, no. Okay, all right. So while I'm doing that, let me go ahead and answer some uh, questions. Um, not, I don't know how to pronounce your name, but welcome to the stream. What's up with quality on YouTube? I don't know what you mean, but uh, welcome to the stream. <laughs> uh, Kelly asks, uh, if you had to spend a week in a zombie movie of your choice, uh, what do you think you could spend seven days in. I don't think there's a single zombie movie or game or anything like that that I would survive more than five minutes in. <laughs> if it were real, I would die immediately. Almost immediately. <laughs> so yeah, uh, I, I don't know if there is anything, any of them that I would, I personally uh, would be proficient enough to survive in. <laughs> uh, all right, Max, welcome to the stream. Um, Says, love your content. Me and the wife been players since Alpha 15. Truly wish they would let us stack quests in Alpha 20. Um, well, they are making some changes to the questing system in Alpha 20. Uh, stacking quests, I'm guessing you mean take multiple quests at the same time. Yeah, I don't think that. I think you're still going to have to do them one at a time. Um, but I do love the the, the fact that... Um, um, I do love the fact that 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 you can um, take like previous tier quests. So once you get to the the higher tier quests, you're not stuck doing only the higher tier quests. You can do you some of the earlier quests as well. So, all right. Um, oh, whoa, cheerleader! I'm looking over at chat and I noticed the cheerleader <laughs> sneaking up on me. Didn't make a didn't even make a noise. Back. <laughs> All right. Uh, let's see here. Shannon asks, will the new POIs be added to Navis Gain or just the pregens? Um, the new POIs, the, I think I think the um, the new POIs are going to be so they are going to revamp all of the existing maps. So so Navis Gain and the pregens are all going to be revamped. Um, yeah, so so yes, they, they will. I don't know what's going to go into what, though. 
So yeah, they um, they really haven't announced that. We're gonna have to wait until it actually comes out, and then we will see where they put what. All right, uh, you can call me Mike. Well, hello, Mike. Welcome to the stream. Thank you very much for joining me. It's just like 360p. Um, yeah, I I don't know. It, it uh, on my end, everything looks good, and I haven't had any other complaints. So um, I'm just gonna keep uh, keep rolling. All right, there we go, guys. We have our... Whoa, Ron! Bad. Bad Ron. Bad. Joik. We are going to go ahead and get the heck out of here. We've already completed the quest, so let's go get it turned in. Don't worry about clearing out the rest of the zombie jerks. We will leave them for the next survivor. <laughs> oh, Retzel! Thank you very much for joining. Welcome to the stream. Good to see you, my man. Uh, give him a, a lumpectomy. <laughs> Absolutely. And Umbrian Black, thank you very much for joining. Good to see ya. All right. Um, oh, I'm thirsty. I'm thirsty. Well, let's drink one of our red teas. That'll give us uh, a boost to our stamina, too. All right, guys, let's get back. Let's turn this quest in. We should be getting pretty close to opening up the next trader. We haven't done a lot of exploring. We've pretty much just been concentrating on getting levels. And, uh, and, and, um, yeah, Ooh. I'm hearing things. Mage Josh. Awesome to see you, man. Thank you very much for joining. Uh, you're watching it for, at 720. Cool. 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 I'm glad. Um, yeah, I, I, I think it might just be, um, your connection, Mike. Uh, yeah, like I said, I, I haven't noticed any, anything on my end. Everything's looking pretty, pretty good. Minus the, the, the crappy, uh, or, you know, the, the video that didn't, uh, Decided not to not to play properly, but <laughs> that's beside the point. <laughs> but yeah, guys, we gotta get. We need more levels. We need more experience. We need stuff. We're still rocking really low gear. I was really hoping, you know, we might we might want to take a, a look. Um, we might want to take a look at his supply because I don't know. I don't remember if he had anything that jumped out at me. But we should again. We should be getting close to the opening up the next trader. And the more traders we have a, a, access to, the better uh, for this this run, this playthrough for Howdy. sure. All right, Bob, give me something Many good, baby. Uh, coffee very recipe very that would be nice. Or sniper leg shots. All right, let's take the coffee recipe, just so we can make coffee. Yeah, that'll work. All right, haven't quite done it yet. So let's do the next clear. I'm in a bit of a quandary. Go. Brilliant. I guess this and let's uh, let's check out his inventory. See if has, I don't think he had anything that really jumped out. <laughs> Level two stun baton. <laughs> yeah, no, 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 no. Um, anything in here? He's got a robotic sledge. Mm, nothing that really jumps out at me. Yep. You have right. a great day now. You too, Bob. Thank you. A uh, llama 1077. Thank you very much for joining. All right, where are we heading? We are heading that away. 573 meters. Oh, it's going to be on the other side of our base. Do we have a much on us? Now we got a, now we got plenty of space. Plenty of space. Um Watched a ton of your videos. Great content. Enjoying the stream. Well, that is awesome to hear. Thank you very much for joining. I was glad, I'm glad you're able to join us today. And I'm uh, I'm glad that you've watched a ton of my videos and, and that you've enjoyed those as well. That's awesome to hear. Hey, bub. How you doing, bud? Good to see you. There's a couple smacks for you. And another one. And you down. All right. Let's keep on rolling. All right. Ooh, there's a water source right over there. That's good. We need to grab our jars and get those filled up. That way we can stop spending money on dukes. Or money on dukes. That way we can stop spending money on water. Because if we have a water source close by, um, we'll just keep our jars and go and fill up uh, the water in the water source. Save our dukes. We uh, we're gonna we still have to we until we make ourselves a farm we're gonna have to rely on on the vending machines quite a bit for our our sustenance. All right, how close uh, we're 
very, very close to the next level. So that ne the next two points are going to go into advanced engineering. We want to get those up. Then we're going to switch back to strength so, um, and, and keep going there as well. I was really hoping that Bob would have got, uh, would have, would have a, um, an auger in his inventory and maybe a low level firearm that we could use for the first horde. Hey chicken. You run in front of me, I'm going to smack you. All right. I don't want to break my leg. Don't want to break my leg. Don't want to break my leg. All right. There we go. Ron, I got places to be, bud. Sorry. Okay. All right. Cave. This should be a pretty quick and easy, uh, easy clear here. Let's make sure we're good. All right. Let's do it. Again, since we uh, can't loot, there's no sense in double clearing the POI. Ooh. Hello. Hello, hello, hello. I'm not as familiar with this one here. Come on out, bud. Down you go. And you did. All right. I guess we could do is try to get some stealth shots. We probably won't kill her. But at least we can do a little bit of damage before we move in. Boom! There we go. <laughs> All right. So as we continue going here, uh, let's see. I'll keep answering some questions. Kelly says, does the repair meter on armor affect how much the armor protects you? Uh, I don't believe so. Uh, I think it's pretty much it's the, the stats stay the same. It's just whether it's broken or not. I don't think the the, the uh, protection level changes as you go. I, I could be wrong on that, but I don't believe that the stats, um, the actual protection level changes. All right. There we go. Let's keep on a rolling. Moe's sleeping here. Let's see if we can get a sneaky shot on him. There we go. Stealth shot to the face. Club to the face. Down he goes. Oh, we are so close to that uh, next level up. Whoa. Oh, God. I saw him right out of the corner of my eye. Right out of the corner of my eye. Oh, man. Zombie loot. Oh, no. Well, let's kill the janitor. And then we will all cry together. Oh, zombie loot. Oh, no. Two bags of zombie loot. Oh, all right. All right, guys. Oh. Let's cry together. What do we got? Forged iron. Sewing kits. Eh, that's not too bad. Guess that's not too bad. I will take my arrow back, if you will. And... Uh, all right. All right. I'm not I'm not crying too much. Not, not too much. It could have been a lot worse, for sure. All right. Up we go. Let's get our club back out. Okay. Yeah, I'm not as familiar with this, uh, with this little POI. Hey, cowboy. Where's Arlene? Where's Arlene? You know she's there. Oh, it's Big Mama. All right. There's our level up, guys. Hey, Mama. Good to see ya. There we go. All right. Clear is done. Let's go ahead and eat. Just a couple for now. All right. Excellent. Red Eye, welcome to the stream. Not sure if I said welcome to you. Uh, Red Eye asks, when is it expected now? I'm not sure what exactly you're referring to. Maybe you're referring to Alpha 20? If that's the case, uh, Alpha 20, they haven't given us, given us an official release date. They just said before Christmas, and there's a possibility that it could be as soon as Halloween. So... That's uh, that's what we're currently looking at. Is there any way I can go? I want to. Yeah. 
Can I get out this way? Am I going to fall down and break my leg? Be care oh, there it is. Okay. I was going to say, there's got to be like a easy way to get through. There we go. We're out. We're out, guys. We're out. All right. Um, getting to mushrooms and other veggies, would you consider that looting? No. We, we So we've decided that that gathering, like, and that re reminds me, I probably should have grabbed some of these mushrooms. Gathering stuff is okay. So I, I, can, I can gather mushrooms. I can gather uh, plants and that kind of stuff. I just can't open up any loot containers. So you know what? Yeah, let's go through here and let's get some of these mushrooms. Might as well. There's some cobble in here we could probably grab too. Although we don't really need any more cobble. I think we're good on cobble. Let's just get a few mushrooms here since we're they're, they're here. We're here. Yeah, we've got 10. There's a few more down here, and then we'll get out of here. It's about 1230, so we don't want to spend a lot of time. I should have been grabbing these uh, while we were clearing, but... Is anyone, if we can save ourselves Dukes, that, that's probably good. If we can save ourselves Dukes, uh, that, that, that'd be good. Not have to buy as much food. All right. Um, let's see. Edward asked, when is Alpha 20 coming? Yep. So that is, um, like I said, they, they haven't given us a firm release date, but we are looking by Christmas and maybe as soon as um, as Halloween. That's, uh, that's what the Fun Pimps have announced. Nothing official. And um, yeah, nothing official as of yet. As soon as I know, guys, I will definitely let you know once there is an official release date. So, but yeah, we're still patiently waiting for them to give us a, an official release date. Uh, let's see. DJAF Dread Hood 99 asks, how is, how's my day? My day is going pretty darn well. I, I'm, I'm feeling pretty good today. Um, again, it's, it's my late father's birthday. So it is a, a tougher day. Um, but being able to stream and hang out with you guys makes it a uh, makes it a little easier, and I've been I've been trying to dive into 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 my work, which uh, which really helps as well. So, but yeah, I can't complain, guys. It's a, it's been a good day. It really has, uh, all things considered, for sure. Uh, let's see. Uh, but if you kill a zombie and they drop a bag, that's like a reward. Yeah, I can't. I can't take any of the any open any of the loot loot um, containers. That include. I can't take anything from the loot containers. What we're doing with the zombie bags, guys, the zombie loot, is I open those up. We uh, we cry together uh, at the stuff that we cannot keep, and then I just pull it out of the loot container and 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 drop it on the ground and let it despawn, just so that the loot the yellow loot bags uh, will disappear from the world because they can be a uh, little resource intensive they can they can cause some issues with the game if you leave them spawned into the world so we open them up we drop the stuff let it despawn uh because the the individual items despawn a lot faster than the yellow bags do so all right um let's see llama asks when you play do you prefer to wear and spec into light or heavy armor generally speaking i do light armor for most of my playthroughs and then I wear heavy armor on Horde Knight for sure. But when I'm usually when I'm out and about, I prefer light armor. Uh, padded armor is my favorite armor in the game. It is so simple to get a full uh, quality six uh, set, and it has so many awesome benefits. So generally speaking, I go I go light armor. Oh, uh, let's see. <clears throat> JS, have I tried any any samurai sword or katana mods? Um, I've played overhaul mods that have those kind of weapons in, in them, but not in in vanilla. I'm not much of um, add, the only mod that I have added to the game is the locking mod here, and I honestly don't use it as much as I used to. 
But yeah, as far as mods, I don't really add too much to the vanilla version. If I'm going to play a mod, I'll play a, a complete overhaul mod, like uh, the Purgatory mod, which was created by uh, Mage Josh, who was in the chat a little earlier, and it's absolutely awesome, and I recommend it highly. So um, yeah, but if I do if I do mods, I usually you know, usually um, add, I add those in. Ooh, Gravedigger mod. Speaking of mods, let's definitely grab that. Oh, yes, we just did it, guys. We did it. We're going to take that as well. Complete. So there we go. Special job. 1.4 kilometers southwest. Just the awesome. You the man. There we go, guys. That's exactly what we wanted. All right. Diamond tip blades. That's good. Um, let's modify you and throw you in there. All right. We've got time. Let's go visit the new trader. Uh, and Eddie, welcome to the stream. Thank you very much for joining. Oh, Mage Josh is still here. Awesome. So yeah, Mage Josh uh, is the creator of the um, overhaul mod called Purgatory. And it is absolutely awesome. If you're looking for something a little bit different, a little bit more challenging, definitely uh, check that mod out because he uh, oh, it's, it's awesome, guys. It really is awesome. All right, we've got a few hours. Let's get to that new trader. Let's open up this new trade route. We earned a good amount of dukes. We have almost 6,000 dukes now. So hopefully this other trader will have something um, to catch our eye. An auger would be nice. A cheap firearm would be nice. That's really what we're looking for. Oh, we have that point, right? Let's go ahead and spend that. We're putting that into uh, advanced engineering. Boom. There we go. Next point goes into Tinkerer. And then we're going to get back to strength. All right. Drac Attack. Welcome to the stream. Uh, ask the question. Let's see. Seems like you're having fun. Do you have a favorite zombie or new zombie model coming to Alpha 20? Yeah. Some of the zombie models they've released, guys, are looking amazing. The new Screamer. The new spider that they kind of teased on at the last dev stream. Oh, man. Talk about nightmare fuel. <laughs> oh, man. There are some of the, the new models are looking really, really good. Really good. I think probably the new Screamer model is um, it's probably the one that I like the most that they've released so far. She is absolutely terrifying. Uh, I think uh, having her jump up uh, or, you know, uh, show up out of the blue. And I guess they're going to do, they're doing like animations. So her, her tongue like wags when she screams. So <laughs> I don't know, man, it's going to be crazy. <laughs> and yeah, like Mage Josh says, the new white, uh, he actually has pants now, <laughs> which is nice. So the new, new white model looks cool. Uh, the new spider model. Uh, oh, there's just so many, so many new pieces of artwork coming in Alpha 20 that I, I cannot wait for. I cannot wait. Um, all right. Uh, Kelly asks, do you think they are hiding anything big in Alpha 20 that you will have to find yourself after its release? Um, I don't think anything like really major. I guarantee there are going to be things in there that we don't know about yet. Uh, but I don't think there's going to be anything like really, really big that they won't highlight. Uh, that would kind of be uh, counterproductive on their part. There, there will probably be some Easter eggs and that kind of thing added in. But I don't think they're going to make any major changes or uh, add anything major uh, that they, they don't let us know about uh, beforehand. But um, rest assured, guys, that once it does come, uh, once Alpha 20 does is released, I'm going to be going through it. Uh, completely and ooh, nice big working stiffs and get some more uh, more stuff from there if we want um, yeah I'm, I'm definitely going to be covering everything uh, alpha 20 as soon as it's released yeah I don't think I'm going to be lacking for um, material <laughs> anytime soon because they the amount of new stuff they have coming in alpha 20 Oh, it's crazy. It is absolutely crazy. I'm really, really looking forward to it. It's going to be so much fun. All right. Let's keep on a rolling. All right. So we're close. We're only 300 meters away from the new trader. Fingers crossed that this trader has something good. Hey, Arlene. 
I'm I'm going to see the new trader. You're kind of getting in the way. <laughs> All right. Let's keep rolling. Oh, that's right. I was gonna we need to be on the lookout for a wrench too. We need to hopefully this guy will have if he has a wrench in his inventory, we can we can buy that as well. All right. So I think tonight on the overnight, we're gonna get ourselves a forge made up. And I don't know if we're going to have enough points to get to the next level. But I think we have everything we need, maybe. Oh, boy, I don't know. Because without a wrench, I don't know if we have... We might have to purchase um, some, some stuff. All right, looks like it is a Trader Joel. Trader Joel. And it sounds like there's a rabbit dying on the barbed wire fence. <laughs> oh. All right. Let's keep on rolling. Oh, let's first things first. Since we're here, might as well. Wow, again, no food. No food at all. Hmm, that's a bummer. All right. Come on, Joel. Tell me you got some good stuff, buddy. Need assistance? Many thanks. You've proved to be very resourceful. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Thank, thanks, Joel. I appreciate it. Give me some... Uh, tell me you have some good stuff here. Okay. Let's see if there's anything that jumps out. Mm, nothing so far. Wow. Okay. Secret stash. Show me something good. Oh, SMG schematic, fish tacos recipe, Fishland treasures. Ooh, I don't know. It's got some turrets, crossbow, another sledge. Yeah, he really doesn't have a lot either. But I think we might buy... Oh, boy. I don't know. I don't know. He really doesn't have much uh, much that excites me uh, either. Huh. Uh, no, I don't. Great Heist 1, what are you? Do more damage to safes? All right. I think we are going to buy the fish tacos recipe. And I think we're going to buy the SMG schematic as well. And that's about it. That's about it for now. 10% more damage to bears. That wouldn't be bad. But he didn't have he doesn't have any uh yeah, he doesn't have a wrench. Man. Doesn't have anything really that jumps out at me for uh weapons and armor. Bummer. Well, what can you do, guys? Y'all come back now. Well, real quick, let's check his jobs. Let's do this real quick. Let's mark him. Trader Joel. And we are to the south. Where's Bob? Bob's right here. Let's go ahead and mark Bob. There we go. So we need to go to the uh, northeast. We'll see if he has a job to the northeast that'll that'll send us to the northeast here. Oh, oh wrong one. Apologies. Check back again, and I may have what you uh, There we for. go. Friend, I'm in trouble. You that should man. take us back to the uh, to the same time. Oh, real quick. I just noticed this DGAF Dread Hood 99. Thank you very much for that super chat. He says, "Hey Savin, I want to say thank you for being uh, being you, man, and the best you can be, Savin. Thank you for your amazing videos, man. Well, thank you very much, DGAF Dread Hood 99, for that super chat and th uh, the support. I, I really, really appreciate it. That is absolutely awesome." Thanks for watching the videos. Thanks for for joining and and sending sending in that super chat. Uh, oh, so awesome! <laughs> I really do appreciate it. I really do appreciate it. 
Oh, so good. Sorry, I didn't notice that sooner. I was uh, spending, <laughs> I was uh, focusing too much on Joel here. <laughs> All right, let's uh, go ahead and use those. So the fish tacos, the reason I like that, one can of salmon, two cornmeal, boom. Fish tacos, one of the best foods in the game. Oh, so awesome. Oh, yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Awesome, Dreadhood. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. Um, oh, I missed another question here. Uh, Drac Attack says, I'm kind of sad the cosplay nurse is leaving. I think we could hope they make her a rare variant or Easter egg zombie. They may. They may. But I, I think they're actually going to be removing those completely. Um, I, I, I don't think they're going to be. They're, they're, oh, there's another zombie. <laughs> oh, silly zombies. Yeah. Yeah. Look at how, how much good that's doing you, lady. <laughs> oh, silly zombies. Uh, yeah, I, I think once the the regular versions of the zombies are removed, I, I think they're going to be completely removed. I don't think they're gonna they're gonna be um, um, adding anything uh, anything else in. Um, oh, real quick, let's do this. What do we? I forget. Forge. We need uh, stones, no problem. Clay, no problem. I think we have the leather. Um, the duct tape, I'm pretty sure we, we can make that. I did not notice. Let's run back to Joel real quick and see if he has the lead pipes. So we don't have a wrench, guys, so I can't wrench anything down. And we can't loot anything, so we might have to purchase. Well, you know what? Screw that. No, we don't need to do that. We can We can make them. We're good. We're good. Let's get home. All right. Fine, buddy. Fine. If you want, I will smack you upside the head. You happy? I was going to leave you alone, but now you just had to get right in my way. <laughs> All right. Excellent. So we're looking pretty good. Um, again, next point is going to go into the Tinkerer. Then we'll have access to our workbench, and we'll have access to oh, drinky drink. We'll have access to the workbench and the cement mixer as well. So we uh, and the, the traders reset on the seventh, which means we'll have brand new inventories to uh, to to look through. So that'll hopefully help as well. I should start collecting stuff to make some farm plots too. Because if we could start growing our own food, we could do some looking around, see if we can find some uh, uh, plants and start gathering some corn, some potatoes. We've got the mushrooms. That's interesting. Cool. Oh. I'd like to get back to Bob before he close before um, he closes. If we can get back to Bob before he closes, then we can take that last clear quest, and that'll give us something to do early in the morning right away. We can get that done, turn it in, get some more quests. That I think would be probably the best use of our time. Not being able to loot really sucks. Really sucks. <laughs> you 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 learn quickly how big a part of uh, this game looting actually is. Because you have to rely on the traders so much. And when the traders don't have uh, anything in their inventory that excites you, you're kind of SOL. Oh, wait a second. We are on the new tier of quests. So, did Bob's quests reset? I don't think so. Uh, you should make a perception build with the sniper rifle on the AK-47 and the Desert Vulture. Uh, can you make a build like that? Absolutely. Yeah, you absolutely can. 
The the sniper build is a very effective build. Um, I would couple that. I would couple the the build if I if I did a sniper build, I'd probably do a a um, a stealth build and use the sniper rifle as my primary weapon. You you can be very very effective. And and believe it or not, guys, the the sniper rifle can be an effective weapon close quarters as well. Uh, you can. You can, um, if you, you slap a silencer on it, you can use a, the sniper rifle to clear a POI uh, without waking up any zombie jerk, which is nice. So, yeah, the sniper rifle is a very, very effective weapon, especially. But the only problem is it's, it's a tough weapon to get your hands on. It's not an early game weapon. The sniper builds are, are better suited for later on. Uh, I, and to be completely honest, perception is probably my least favorite attribute tree right now uh just because a lot of the stuff in there they need to rework it doesn't um it, it doesn't work uh it, there are there are better choices so yeah let's keep on a rolling almost back to bob i think we should be able to be get back to bob in time to take another quest there he is. We are right there. Right there. Perfect. Let's head on inside. All right. Bob, how you doing, man? I've got the best deals in Navis game. All right, good. His uh, his quest did not reset. You know, we might be able to get this one busted out before Would the end of the night. Help me with a little Let's try it. Well, all right. We've got a couple a couple hours. Let's do it. It's right around the corner. Let's see if we can get this bad boy cleared. Oh, it's a, it's a tier two also. All right, let's do it. Let's go quick, baby. I know for a fact there's going to be a couple. Uh, I think there's a couple of them in here. Or are they further along? Don't matter. We got to get. We got to get to it. We got to get going. Oh, I see ya. Oh, you know what? I want to. I want to spend some time and, and uh, harvest him. Um, all right. Let's see here. Do you think some of the rural POIs will get revamped, like how they're revamping the cities? Yes, they have confirmed that. And they confirmed that in the dev stream, that uh, it's not only the cities that are getting a revamp. They're actually adding a lot of more uh, rural, rural uh, POIs as well. So, yes, everything. Oh, right above her head. Try that again. There we go. Pretty much everything is uh, is getting revamped in one way or another, which is cool. Tom. Got him. Oh, I want to loot so bad. <laughs> but we can't. All right, let's keep on rolling, guys. We want to get through this quest as quickly as we can. No messing around. Snipe Lois in the head. Not really going stealth in this playthrough, but um, if we can get the stealth kills, we will. Ah, false wall. Yep. Boom! Ha <laughs> ha, got him. Grab that. All right, up we, up we go. Whoa! We woke them all up. Hey, speaking of the old nurse, <laughs> there she is. Hello, nurse. You take a swing. Oh, ooh, double nurse. <laughs> flop, 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 flop. <laughs> oh, I love it. All right. Let's keep 
keep on moving. I want to try to get this done. She did. She did. All right. Where are you at? There she is. Nobody in the closet? Nope, nobody in the closet. Just the nurse. Down she goes. Keep on rolling. Up we go. Hello. Come on out. Hey, Jeffrey. Or Steve Buscemi. <laughs> As some people like to call him. There we go. Down goes Jeffrey slash Steve Buscemi. And there's probably, I think these are the last two. We're almost done, guys. Might be able to make it back and uh, turn this bad boy in. Oh, what the heck was that? Before the end of the night, we got the skater boy there. And we've got Tom over here. There we go. Done. Grab our arrows. We're running low on arrows. I need to make some more, uh, make, make up some more arrows. All right, let's get back there. Oh, gosh. <laughs> that was close. Um, I almost ran right into the spikes. <laughs> let's see if we can go out the window here. Go, 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 go. We've got half an hour to get out of here. Half an hour to get back. Oh, no, that was the wrong one. That was the wrong one. Oh, no. I did the wrong quest, guys. Oh, man. That was stupid. Well, shoot. There's no way we'll be able to finish this quest in time. Ah, come on. Savin, what are you doing, man? Thank you. Thanks. Thanks for letting me know. Well, that was a bust. That was just silly. <laughs> so there's a, a little piece of advice for you guys. Learn from my mistake. Always check and make sure that the quest that you're doing is the one that you are actually... Uh, actually trying to do <laughs> all right uh, are there any jerks stumbling around we'll probably get some spawning in but that's all right all right we're good let's go up so overnight we're going to make ourselves a forge and we're going to get that going going to create the forge probably up here there we go but first Let's see what we have and what we need. Wait a second. Oh, my God. I'm an idiot. <laughs> oh, it's just not my day, guys. So you heard me say, oh, we're just going to make a forge. Or we're going to make we're, we're gonna make the short iron pipes we need. Well, you can make short iron pipes in the forge. Uh, but you kind of have to have a forge in order to make, uh, make the pipes. So, um, <laughs> oh, man, oh. <sighs> guys, I don't, I don't know what to say. I, I do not know what to say. <laughs> oh boy. That was just stupid. <laughs> <laughs> I am uh I am just having a a, a day. <laughs> uh, well. <laughs> oh boy. <sighs> you know what? There's a watering hole right over there. It is after dark. It might be stupid to do, but I'm going to go fill my jars. Yeah, this is another another bonehead mistake that I'm doing here, but hey, I don't care. <laughs> I'm just being stupid left and right. Come on, Jeffrey. Come on, buddy. 
All right. I'm mad. I'm mad that I've, I've made so many bonehead mis boneheaded mistakes. <laughs> uh, well, first thing in the morning, or not first thing, what? Yeah, first thing in the morning, we're going to go do that clear quest. Um, then we're going to go see if Bob has any pipes. Because I wanted to spend the night making a forge and getting some stuff smelting down in the forge. But I don't have any pipes. So that doesn't work. <laughs> so instead, we'll uh, we'll spend the night making up some water. And I'll answer some more questions. <laughs> oh, my God. <sighs> what can I say, guys? <laughs> I've been so crazy. Oh, hey, buddy. How you doing? Yeah, nice. Come say hello to my club, you jerk. It has been an incredibly busy week. And I am so frazzled. My brain is just not working. <laughs> oh, what can I say? All right. I think we're clear. I think we're good. But at least this way, guys, we won't have to spend resources. Oh, no. I want to go right here. Buying water. Uh, that's one thing that we should not have to buy. All right, how much do we need here? Two minutes and 20 seconds. So let's do that. There we go. And cook those, get those going here. Um, let's see here. What did I miss in chat? Uh, Jamie says, time to kill some zombies with BB. Well, thank you very much, Jamie. Thank you very much, BB, for joining us. You go slay some zombie jerks. Have a great time doing it, and I'm really glad um, you were able to join the stream tonight. Thank you so much. <laughs> Retzel says, chicken egg, go figure. Yeah, exactly right. <laughs> As Forrest said, it happens. Yes, it does. It does indeed. <laughs> and uh, let's see. Dreadhood asks, if I, uh, can you make a video of the perception build that I mentioned? Um, yeah, absolutely. I can uh, I can definitely add that to, to the list of videos. Uh, to make. Um, I do already have a perception build video that is very similar to that on, uh, in my, my perception or my character build and, um, horde base design playlist that you could check out, but yeah, absolutely. I can definitely add that to the list of videos for the future. All right. Um, do we have any feathers on us? We don't. So we might, maybe we can go out and uh, start banging on some birds' nests. There's one right over there. Get a few feathers together. So let's finish. Uh, let's finish cooking up this water, and then we will go and see if we can grab some feathers. Because we are running low on arrows. Two arrows left. Pretty sure I didn't miss anything. Yeah, we're looking all right. We're still doing okay, guys. Still doing okay. 30 seconds and this will be done. All right. Um, Llama. Oh, nope. Wrong, wrong one. Sorry. Llama says, anything new coming to the food slash cooking system? Um, I don't think so. I don't remember them saying anything about um, updating the cooking system. I could be wrong about that, but I don't think that there's anything planned as of right now. Nothing in Alpha 20, at least I don't think so. But again, I could be I could be mistaken. They they could have announced something, but not to my knowledge. I don't I don't think so. All right, let's go grab some feathers here. Where's that bird's nest? There it is. All right, so we can't harvest the bird's nest. But we can break them down. Or we can't, like, loot the bird's nest. But I can break them down to get a few feathers. And if we 
I might be I need to be on the lookout for chickens and start killing them. And I know we did come across a chicken earlier, and I let the darn thing go because I'm a nice guy and I don't like to slaughter animals unless I have to. But uh, we might have to start slaughtering some animals. <laughs> a boy's got to eat, and a boy's got to make arrows. Let's keep looking. We won't go too far. We're going to stay pretty close to our base. Um, just in case a wandering horde spawns in, which is possible. Let's do a little circle around here. Anybody seeing any other... Birds' nests. So right now we have seven, <laughs> seven arrows. Which we will turn into, or seven feathers. Keep on looking. It's one of the downsides of the of the forest area is the grass covers up the bird's nest, makes them a little harder, more difficult to spot. I don't want to get too close to the trader. It's a bit spawned away. Uh, how many do we have now? Nine. It's not a lot. Not a lot of arrows. But you know what? We really don't need a lot. Honestly, we don't need a lot. We're still low enough level where we won't have a lot of zombies in the POIs that we come across. So let's go ahead and drink a water. And we are going to save our jars for sure. All right. Well, I'm going to go up top. We've got a couple of hours before day daylight. Let's go up top. And I'm going to hang out up top. Yeah, look at that. Two zombie jerks right over there. We might go say hi. We'll see. Uh, let me check and see if we got any more questions coming in here. Two weeks ago, I told you I could go underwater without dying. That was while Friendly Fire was off. Started a new game with it. Oh, wow. Okay. So, uh, apparently having Friendly Fire off for some reason made you be able to go underwater without drowning. That's an, an, an interesting bug. Interesting. Very, very interesting. But, uh, yeah, because you, um, you should have an oxygen bar when you go underwater. And if you stay underwater too long, you will drown and die. There were two of them, right? Where's the other one? Oh, there he is. It's Ron. It's Ron there and Jeffrey there. Let's go say hi, guys. We might as well. We've got some time. We really don't have anything else to do tonight um, because I was an idiot and uh, didn't grab the pipes that we need. <laughs> we literally have everything else except for the uh, the pipes. So, yeah, 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 yeah. What, what can you do? Hey, bud. Ron, come say hi. I want to introduce you to my club. <laughs> oh, I love it. Oh, I love it. <laughs> uh, Llama, thank you very much for joining. I'm glad you enjoyed the stream. Go slay some zombie jerks. I'm going to continue to slay some jerks here, hopefully. Ow! Darn it, Jeffrey. Knock it off, you jerk. Ah, oh, no. <laughs> okay, that's enough. I've had enough. <laughs> I'm going back home. <laughs> the zombies aren't being nice to me. Up we go. Let's get back up top. <laughs> back to the safe space. But yeah, Lama, thank you very much for joining the stream. Uh, go, go slay some zombie jerks and have some fun. 
There we go. We're home. We're back. Let's see. I think that is that a bird's nest out there? There's another one over there. Let's check this direction here. You can kind of see them a little bit better if you're, you're up a little higher. You don't see any away this way. Uh, I don't see any. There's a couple out in that direction, but uh, I'm I, I got punched in the face, so I'm I came home. <laughs> we're gonna we're gonna hang out at home. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh boy! All right. All right, guys. Uh, yeah, if uh, if you haven't yet, make sure and hit that thumbs up button. Let YouTube know you're enjoying the stream. Uh, we are still doing the Q and A. Those, so if you have any questions, um, if you have any questions, get those into chat, and I will answer them to the best of my ability. Uh, will I accept a a friend request on Steam? Um, I do not accept friend requests from almost anybody on Steam, uh, and that's it's nothing personal. Uh, it's just for um, uh, being a having more of a public persona. My, my Steam account, like I have a personal Steam account. Oh, Wandering Horde. There it is. There's the Wandering Horde I was telling you about. I knew they would, I knew we'd have a Wandering Horde uh, spawn in. Look at him go. Look at him go. Oh, very nice. Awesome. Yeah. So back to that. Um, yeah, I have a personal Steam account that I that I accept uh, uh, re friend requests uh, on my personal. But for the Savins World account, I don't typically speaking. Um, I don't accept uh, friend requests from anybody unless I, it's somebody I'm I'm doing a collab with and need to actually have them as a Steam uh, friend in order to like invite them to a playthrough and that kind of thing. So, yeah. Um, yeah, but again, it's nothing nothing personal. Uh, just for this account, my Stavins World account, uh, I just uh, it would be too much if I if I accepted all the all the Steam friend requests uh, that I get, and it you know, it can actually um, uh, get in the way. I, I have pop ups and stuff like that uh, frequently during during times I'm trying to record and that kind of thing so just to, in order to save myself that that hassle I kind of uh, limit the people that I do uh, accept steam uh, friend requests from so hopefully that hopefully that makes sense and that answers your question all right oh awesome 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 thank you for for understanding some people think uh, uh, I've had I, I had one person give me a hard time about it. <laughs> <laughs> not too long ago when I declined their, their friend request. Uh, they were not very happy. And uh, even when I explained why, uh, they were still not very happy. But you know what? That's how it goes. Um, there's a reason, method to my madness, the reason why I, I do the things I do. So if uh, I'm glad that you understand. But yeah, thank you. <laughs> oh, they're getting closer. 45 minutes, we're going to go kill them all. We're going to go kill them all. I see you, Tom. I see you. Yeah, don't come any closer. 40 minutes. we are got a whole pile of experience waiting for us down there, guys. So change of plans. Instead of doing that clear quest first thing in the morning, we're going to go kill all these zombie jerks first thing in the morning. Now, if I had a little bit better weaponry, I'd say screw it and we'd go now. But uh, seeing as how I only have a quality one wood club, yeah, I think we better hold off. <laughs> Don't have too much longer to wait. Although Tom's getting too close for my liking. Stumble the other way, Tom. No, that's not the other way. That's that's literally coming the same way. All right, fine. See if we can take him out with a stealth shot. Ah, oh, I missed him. I missed again. I'm using up all the arrows I just crafted. Ah, oh, it wasn't enough to kill him. Thankfully, he doesn't know where we're at. Where are you going, Tom? You gonna go attack a tree or something? 
Oh, I think that one went through his legs. Yeah, I'm using up all of the arrows. There we got him. All right, he's down. We're using up all of the arrows uh, <laughs> that we just crafted. <laughs> That's all right. Come on, six minutes. Uh, we need console update. Um, watch my video tomorrow, guys, because the Fun Pimps made a major announcement regarding the console. And I'm not going to spoil it. I will just say watch that video tomorrow because it actually it actually took me by surprise what they what they had to say. So awesome news. Awesome news. That's all I'm going to say. All right, let's go kill these zombie jerks. Hey, jerks. Come on. Come say hi. Boom. Look at all that XP. All right, let's make sure nobody behind us. All right, we're good. We're good. Skater boy, how you doing? Hope you're well. Jeffrey. Look at all that XP. Look at all that XP. Might, might be enough maybe to level up. Get him in a nice single file line. Smack. Down she goes. Boom. Down he goes. Bo, how you doing, man? Good to see you. Down you go. And we got Mo number one and Mo number two. Get him in a nice straight line. <laughs> Bo just smacked Mo in the back of the head. I <laughs> love it. Now I know there's another one. Yeah, it's Ron. He's a little further away, so we should be all right. Bo, take a swing, and boom, you did. Mo, how you doing? Swing. And down he goes. That one's dead. There's our level up. All right, so there's our last, our next point into engineering. There we go. So now we can make the workbench and the cement mixer. Let's get Ron. Boom. Boom. Down he goes. All right. Uh, what did I miss here? Hey, Simon, if I may ask, what's your birthday? My birthday is in July. July 22nd is my birthday. Um, Him08 Herd, thank you very much for joining. Uh, what day is the stream again? Which stream are you talking about? Are you talking about the dev streams? If you're talking about the dev streams, those are every Wednesday night. All right, let's get this quest done, guys. In we go. Oh, birdie bird. I see. Oh, no, he woke up. Come on down and boom. Yeah, got him. All right, we want to definitely harvest him. Definitely give him a harvest. Um, happy late birthday. Well, thank you very much. Thank you. Uh, thank you for that. I appreciate that. Dread Hood. All right. In we go. There's a bird's nest there, too, that we can break down. Can't loot it, but we can smack it. There we go. All right. And down we go. Okay, let's close this door. Oh, it's locked. Of course it is. All right. Come on out. I know you're in there. You ain't fooling nobody. Oh, that was just a really crap shot. <laughs> All right. Let's let's uh, let's heal up a little bit. <clears throat> just a little bit. All right. There she is. Oh, come on. Boom. <laughs> oh, wow. Are you in there? It's Mama. Hey, Mama. Boom. Mama goes down. Cooking pot. Pick up the chairs and scrap those for the wood. Yeah. 
Hello. Come on out. Hey, Lois. Boom, down she goes. I know I could have picked up picked up that chair, but I, whoa! I fell down. <laughs> Come on, boys. Oh darn it, I keep falling. Oh, he's not dead! <laughs> oh, he scared the crap out of me. <laughs> darn it! They didn't take out all the landmines either. So we're going to have to be careful. Actually, no, we don't. We're done. <laughs> Return to the trader. <laughs> I keep forgetting. This is a no looting challenge. There's no re no reason to have to get back get to the uh, the end of the POI anymore. <laughs> and we did that, guys. And we were able to finish that before the morning. Oh, love it. Uh, have I ever played Skyrim? I have played thousands of hours of Skyrim. <laughs> yes. I actually am uh, pleased to, uh, you know, I'm proud of the fact that I have the Platinum Trophy on PS4 and I achieved that without using a single one of the known, like, glitches and, and, and that kind of thing. So um, I was able to get the Platinum Trophy uh, for Skyrim without using, like, the... Um, Oh, the the restoration loop or uh, any any of those kind of tricks and, and that kind of thing. Yeah, so I was able able to do that. So yes, the answer is yes. I have played many 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 many, many hours in Skyrim. Very resourceful. All right, let's take the uh, definitely take the knowledge, and let's see what jobs you got. Oh, some tier two buried supplies. You you that me we will problem. take. Thank you. All right. I bet you wouldn't do this for just anyone. Well, if they paid me money, I would. <laughs> I would need money, buddy. All right. Let's grab ourselves some food. Nice. Ooh, a can of peas. That's a good buy. All right, guys. We're looking good. Let's go get this quest done. Yeah, Skyrim. Okay, so I'm a huge, huge uh, fan of, of the Skyrim, the Elder Scrolls series. Uh, I'm also a huge fan of the Fallout series. I honestly, I still have my original copies of Fallout One and Fallout Two, the original install discs. I still have them, and I still play them from time to time. Uh, Morrowind. I have, probably have more more hours in Morrowind, honestly, than I have in Skyrim. Uh, I absolutely love it. And I played Oblivion to death as well. So, yeah, huge, huge fan of the Elder Scrolls series and the uh, the Fallout series as well. Uh, the only Fallout game I have not played is 76 because I don't think that is Fallout. And it looked like crap. And I honestly, it, it turned out to be exactly what I thought it was. Uh, all the bugs and all the problems that it came out with. Yeah, no, no, thank you. <laughs> And down he goes. Let's keep on moving. All right. How far are we? 200? Oh, it's going to be on the side of this hill, isn't it? Oh, no. Maybe not. Maybe not. Let's keep on rolling. We got the Gravedigger mod. We can finally put it to use. I think it's the first time we've used our shovel since getting that mod. Plus, we're, uh, we have higher, higher quality tools as well, so the digging should be a little quicker. All right, there we go. Here it is. Let's dig. Uh, let's start up here. Oh, I hope this is easy and quick to find. Oh, 
Oh, so close. You can almost get these done in three shovels. You know what? I better dig another one out here just so we can get out. Uh, have I played Dark Watch? Um, no, I that don't think I have. I don't. I I don't know if I've I've heard of that that game. Um, Roman, welcome to the stream. Just passing to to greet you. I'm really excited for Alpha Twenty. Hope it won't get delayed. Oh, I'm I'm with you, man. I am super hyped for Alpha Twenty. That dev stream on Wednesday. Oh man. Oh, just looks so good. All right. Where is it at? All right, let's move this away here. I hate when they're on the side of a hill like this. Because they can be they can be tough. But I'm with you, dude. Alpha 20 is, is gonna be sweet. It is gonna be awesome. The devs have put in so much work in this update. Cannot wait. I <laughs> cannot wait. One good thing about doing buried supply quests is you'll uh, you'll always have clay. <laughs> All right, we need. Oh, I didn't read my book. Let's use that. Let's scrap those, and we need a little bit of water, so we'll drink up a little bit of water. A couple should be enough, and let's keep digging, guys. Come on, buried supplies. Where are you? I'm getting closer. Getting closer. <clears throat> uh, it's a cowboy versus undead and vampire kind of game. Oh, interesting. Yeah, I'll have to look into it. Absolutely. Oh. Repair. <sighs> Come on. Where are you? And now I'm hungry. Oh, good thing we uh, bought a bunch of food. Eat a couple of cans of that. And we'll get back, back to digging. Thought that was it. <laughs> oh, yes. I need to make sure and check and see if he has... We need three short iron pipes. So if Bob has three pipes, we're going to buy buy uh, three pipes from him. Because we, we need them for our forge. Well, where the heck is this thing? Wasting valuable time digging this stuff up. Hmm. Still nothing. <laughs> Where are you?
There. Hello. Chest, where are you? <laughs> oh, boy. I'm just not having any luck finding this stupid thing. Um, are you planning playing Icarus first uh, chord when it's released? Um, maybe. I've been watching some some uh, some playthroughs, some videos on it, on like the betas and everything, and uh, it looked like a really interesting game. So, yeah, I wouldn't be opposed to giving it a, giving it a go. There it is. All right. Let's see if we can dig our, ourselves a way out here instead of having to run all the way back. Should be pretty close to the surface. This should be enough. Just need to make sure we can... Um, can get out. Oh, let's dig one more here. Yep, we can go. We're good. All right, we got a, a straight line out. Let's grab the supplies and boom and go. All right. Oh, I should have. I should have repaired my club first. That's all right. Get a little bit of space, and now we do the repair. All right. There we go. Ron, how you doing, buddy? Nice to see you. We've got Mo and an, uh, two Mo's and another Ron. There we go. Ron, your turn. And Mo, last but not least. Oh, there's one more. I don't know where he's at. Where are you? I heard you. Behind the tree? There he is. He was in the tree. <laughs> there we go. All right. All right, guys. Let's go turn this in. Grab another one. Day's getting away from us. All right. Um, let's see here. Farrell's Gulch just asked a question here. Uh, I'm considering switching to controller. Was it hard to get used to? Um, my, my suggestion would be if you learned on the mouse and keyboard, stick with the mouse and keyboard. The reason I use controller is because I'm a PS, I'm a console from the PS4 version and I learned how to play seven days uh, using the controller. So when I made the jump over to PC, it's just easier for me to use uh, the controller. I would recommend if you're already familiar with the mouse and keyboard, stick with that. Uh, because it, making this making the jump trying to switch between the two uh, the controller and, and mouse and keyboard it can be a little little awkward a little difficult that's why you know I don't I've, I've been playing this game for a while now on PC and I still uh, use the the controller um, just because mouse and keyboard I'm not familiar as familiar with it. Plus, I find that I can play longer with the controller, but that's just me. So I, I always tell people if um, if uh, um, if you learned on the mouse and keyboard, probably best to stick with the mouse and keyboard and try instead of trying to switch over to the controller and vice versa. But just my opinion. But yeah, making the jump, making the switch can be a little difficult. So. Let's get in. Bob, what do you got for me? Great job, Traveler. All right. I'm actually going to take the hood. 
or do I want to take the hood? I don't need the meds. What sells for me? Yeah, let's take the hood. And I, I might actually just sell this back to him. Yeah, let's do that. All right. Uh, another buried supply. Oh, hey, predicament. Could you help Grab travel? that? Brilliant. I guess there this kind of makes it brilliant. All right. Okay, guys. I'm. A I actually think I'm gonna call this here. Um, like I said, I've got a. I've got still got a bunch of work I got to get done tonight. Uh, getting the video ready for tomorrow. So I think I'm gonna call the stream here. Now I promised you guys a big announcement at the beginning of the stream, and I am going to deliver on that announcement right now. Um. But before I do, make sure, uh, remember that we are they're doing free shipping on, on uh, my merch shop to, over the weekend. So check that out. See if there's anything that catches your eye. Uh, if you haven't yet, hit the like button. Let YouTube know that you enjoyed the stream. But we have hit 10,000 subscribers. So it is only right that we celebrate. So next week, we are going to be holding our 10,000 subscriber celebration. And for that celebration... I am going to be holding a community uh, event. It's going to be a community building event, and I will release the, the... So members of the community that have access to the Savage World server, you can participate in this event if you want. I will be posting details on that, on that event on the Discord server. So... Join, make sure to join me next week for the 10,000 subscriber celebration. And if you are a member, channel member, or, or Patreon member, and you have access to the Savin's World uh, server, Seven Days to Die server, you all actually have a, a chance to participate in that stream and be a part of that stream. And again, I'm going to be releasing details on what the event will be on my the Discord server. So if you haven't yet, make sure and um, join the, the Discord server so that way you can see the actual in-depth details. Uh, and if you are um, you have access to the 7 Days to Die Savage World server, uh, you will have a, an opportunity to participate in our celebration. I figure, guys, it's a it, getting to 10,000 subscribers is a huge deal, but I couldn't have done it without the community. The community is, that we've built here is amazing, and I wanted to celebrate with the community. So we're going to do a special event on the Savage World server with uh, the community members to uh, just to say, yeah, you know, just to celebrate the fact that we reached that 10,000 milestone. So um, next week, same time, Starting at 7 p.m. Eastern Time, we're going to be doing a community stream to celebrate 10,000 subscribers on Savin's World. So, ooh, it's going to be fun, guys. It's going to be a good time. And I, I hope that you can join me for that stream. Uh, if you're a member, I hope that you, uh, you know, and you want to you want to join and, and participate in that stream, uh, like actually play with me uh, and, and in the event. Um, then uh, look for the details on the Discord server. I'll either publish those tonight or I might publish them first thing tomorrow morning. It all depends on um, how quickly I finish up my work and if I have time to get that information posted tonight or not. So uh, be on the lookout for that. But I'm really excited about it, guys. It's gonna be a, it's gonna be a blast. It's gonna be so much fun. So I hope you can join me next week uh, for the, for that stream because it's going to be a blast. Uh, just to recap, what we already um, the announcements I already just discussed. The Tournament of Champions, the first official video goes live on Monday. So we are kicking off the TOC with our first round one matchup on Monday. I'm really excited for you guys to see that video. I uh, put a lot of work in, into uh, the actual structure of the video, and uh, I think it turned out pretty darn well. So it's going to be a little little different um, than, than my straight tutorial setups that I usually do. I really want it to feel you know, like you're watching a tournament on TV. So hopefully we've gotten close to that, that bar, that, that benchmark. Um, but yeah, my, I, I'm, pr I'm pretty proud of the video and I'm really excited for you guys to see it. That comes on Monday at my regular scheduled, uh, uh, upload time. So definitely check that out. Um, 
yeah, and I think that that covers pretty much everything. So next week, 10,000 subscriber celebration. It's going to be a blast. Thank you all for joining me tonight and and, and participating in the Q&A today. Um, hopefully, I was able to answer all of your guys' questions. And uh, if not, um, there, there's always next week. I usually take... I usually answer questions at some point in most of my streams. So, um, yeah, definitely jo join us next time. But for now, this is Savin saying thank you, ladies and gentlemen, for joining me in Savin's world. And remember, the average gamer is always king of the hill on the bell curve. Have a great night, everyone.